Yo, 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 what it do, what it do? Hey, we know you just saw that French new intro. Wasn't that shit sick? Well, we couldn't agree more, guys. Right, we just collaborated with our boy Omar at Sun City Vibes to help create an intro that would take our podcast to the next level. Do you need help with your video editing and content creation to help elevate your business to the next level? Well, Sun City Vibes has you covered without a doubt. Yeah, that's right, guys. Whether it's a logo reveal, a music video, drone footage, or even t-shirt printing, guys, hit up Sun City Vibes for quality work and affordable price. Shit, Omar even made us a sick-ass hat. Look at this. It's a fresh-ass fresh. hat. Fresh. Shit's fresh. Fresh. So, yeah, guys, go help support those that support us and hit up our boy Omar and tell him Chris and Misa sent you from the podcast and help support a local El Paso business today. Let's Let's go. Yeah. Three, two, one. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast. As always, guys, co-host of the uh, the podcast, Mr. Misa fucking L is with us today. What I do, what I do, what I do. And the producer chair rocking the brand new fresh merch, our boy Joe. Say what's up to the podcast. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hey, shout out to Chewy from Next Gen Sports for yeah. the gear. Shoot. For the gear. For the motherfucking gear. Hell yeah. Shout out, Chewy. He's a great guy. He's a great guy. We'll He's get into guy, that man. right now. Uh, guys, for episode 122, Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast, we got our boy, Mr. Chuck Duarte in here. Hey! Say what's up to the podcast, Chuck. What's up, boys? Thanks for having me, man. And Chuckles! Chuckles. Chuck, Chucky. And Chuck. Chuck Norris. What's How up? much wood Chucky could a wood D? Chuck, Chuck? Chuckles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Chucky D. Yeah, what's up, it. Chuck? Thank you for being here today, man. We really do appreciate it. Um, thank you for taking time out of your, your work schedule and your busy schedule to, to come slide through the studio. Um, you're a good friend of, of uh, Joe and Misa and Chris. Today was actually the very first day I met you. Shout out to our boy Chris Molina, by the way. Yep. Um, What's up, Chris? But yeah, tell the podcast audience a little bit about yourself, man. What's up, guys? So I'm... Chuck Duarte, born and raised here. Went to Franklin High School with these clowns over hey, here. Go hey, go Cougars. Hey. Fuck, hey, fuck. You heard it here first, Chris. Fuck the T-Birds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pride uh, of the West Side doesn't work over God here. <laughs> Bro, and I'm backed into, literally, like, backed into yeah, a corner. Yeah, so don't say here. shit. Like, fucking with Blue just di- glaring at me. Look he's at like, he's ready like to say talk. something. Dude, he's ready to fight. say something. I know he is, motherfucker. It's all right. It's because Iggy's here, man. Shout out to Iggy, by the way. Oh, yeah. By the way, guys, Comedian, Iggy Samaniego. I almost called him Eggy Sadmanego is in the building today. Shout out to him. Yeah, dude, dude, this guy's everywhere, man. <laughs> I was, everywhere, I was man. listening to the Buzz Adams podcast, yeah, and was, then this guy's there the with Buzz his Adams homies podcast. He thinks he's too Nico. cool for us now. Yeah. He's like, fuck. I'm gonna fuck he's here. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, he's not he, that cool if he's, he's here with us. Nah, he's here. He's like, I'm trying to promote to my shit. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, guys. So, you know how we do it on this podcast. We got our boy Chuck here, so we're going to get to know him. Uh, we're going to, you know, crack a celebratory beer here to mm-hmm. start this bitch off. Thank you, thank you, everyone, who, for tuning in. Hey, Blue, I think I left some, some tall boys over there. Where'd you leave them, Joe? They're on the counter. Okay, that's they're fine. Uh, we put them in the fridge, I think. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, shout out to everyone for being here today. Blue, oh. Iggy, Iggy's cousin, Joe, Chuck. Uh, shout out Chris Molina. He wishes he was here. Yeah, Anissa. Anissa, um, too. Shout, shout out Anissa. Fuck Misa, Misa too. Fuck I Misa. forgot Misa was here. <laughs> this is the, what our celebratory beer sounds like. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Cheers, guys. Cheers, guys. Ah, cheers. Cheers, buddy. Thanks, thanks for having me. Boom, boom, boom. Cheers. Mmm. Joe or Blue. That's a cold ass fucking beer, bro. That's what I'm talking about. All right. So we got a few things we want to do, guys. Episode 122. Uh, We're going to talk to Chuck. We're going to get to know him right now. We're going to converse with the boy right here. We're going to, you know, figure out who Chuck is. But we also have a beer draft later. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited about this beer draft. We're going to do that in the second half. And also, guys, we got some merch. If you look Mm. at me and you look at Misa, Joe's off camera. We got some fucking shirts. Curtis. Even even Blue's got one, right? Even Blue's got one. So Joe, shout out our our, our boy that hooked us up with these. Shout out my Chu Chuy Canales Jesus from Next Gen Sports. Uh, he came to us. He came to me and he's like, "Hey, I would like to do something for you guys. We should work together. Put you out there. You put me out there." And he came up with the with the designs. You know, we got different designs. Um, got there's gonna be one. some merch coming through for for everybody. You know. Hey, I gotta say, Joe, dude, I always I hate how you dress. I think it's pretty like <laughs> nasty. Like, you have no fucking style, but with that shirt on, bro, you look fresh. You get all the bitches. He, he hasn't changed fresh. since high school. He hasn't <laughs> 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 you know, no style same, since 04, bro. I think, it was, I think it was a mistake to bring Chuck on here. All right, so, all night. Uh, I got some good stuff. So the, the way Chuck was brought on here is it was suggested in our group chat this week. 
we were talking about this. Molina, I think it was Molina mm-hmm. that brought him up and was like, hey, Molina brought him up. Um, you guys should reach out to Chuck. Uh, like I said, I hadn't met you till, uh, till today, but you guys have known each other. So you were telling us how you first got to high school uh, from a private high school. You went to Franklin. Um, so kind of tell us how you ran into these fuckers. Yeah, so um, in eighth grade, I was an Eastside kid all my life. So I was. Ooh, uh, yeah. Eastside? Yeah, loser. I, was an, I was an Eastside kid. That's my, dangerous. My, dude. my sisters went to Bird. <laughs> That's, That's where this guy it. came from. Look at him. <laughs> That's how he turned out. Oh, he's Central. Oh, yeah, same he's shit, Central. whatever. Yeah, so my sisters went to Bird. So I was supposed to go there. And then uh, eighth grade year, my parents were like, nah, let's, let's move to the West Side. So I went to Franklin, and I didn't know anybody other than maybe a couple kids that played baseball with right. me and stuff. So first class, I, I think it was like Spanish class, Joe. <laughs> we, get, we get that. I think it was like Spanish, like intro to Spanish. And we no, I didn't ahead. take Spanish. That's that's called I call cap because I didn't need to take Spanish. I tested so out look, at him. look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Right away. It, was, it, was, it, was, it was like English class or something. So it was some. Okay, it was class. a class. It was 15 okay. years ago, Chris. Yeah, Joe, was, Joe's right Joe. away denying the whole story. It I'm like, me take and Spanish? Chris, <laughs> Chris Molina can attest to this. Right. Chris Molina was also in the class. I, you guys were the first ones sitting right next to me. And uh, we, we, at, it's first day of class. I mean, probably right. first 20 minutes. We're sitting there and, and Joe's like, hey, what's up, man? What's up? Like, he just I'm like, yo, what's up? Yeah, yeah, and he's just being cool and stuff. Can I get your the, number? The, <laughs> I'm like, hey, the, Chuckles. Yep. The teacher just keeps talking. And she keeps looking at us. And she's looking at Joe, really. Right. And he keeps talking to me. keeps asking, like, just, hey, what's up? So where are you from? I've never yeah. seen you before. What do you do? Yeah. Like, and I was like, hey, like, <laughs> I'm trying to pay attention to the teacher here. And she goes, you two, out. <laughs> <laughs> first day. First day of class. First, first day of class, and I'm just like, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> who the Joe, fuck? You hey guys like, walk out. Joe's like, you want to go get something to eat now? <laughs> you want to walk into McDonald's? Joe's like, shut your fucking ADHD have an ass up, Joe. Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. So that's how I met Joe. Yeah, that, so that's we, a very... <laughs> when I think back into high school, like those times, dude, I think like the meth, Joe. Because you look like a meth. I was just skinny, dude. Dude, I would always be rolling balls at, at raves. Yeah. You know, I was yeah, always liquid lunch. Uh, lunches with Leo, yeah. always you know going to uh, we'd go to Chico's and we come back and we had a uh, Coach Mena so he wouldn't care if we got there late. He's like, just bring me lunch and I won't count your apps. And I'm like, bet. <laughs> High school, dude. There's there's places right. like that, man. Who was oh. that? Who was that English teacher that uh, was that used to play for the Packers? He he was coach, like, oh, Coach Beneco. Hey, that motherfucker oh, was wild. That hey. shit got crazy with that guy. Yo, yeah, we're about to unpeel oh, so, 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 in there. Wait, who, who is this guy? So this guy used to be back in his prime. He was a kicker. He was a punter for the Green Bay Packers. Oh shit! Yeah, he played yeah. for several teams though. Yeah, no, I mean he played he around the league around probably him. for about five, six years, I think. And he was a fucking teacher at Franklin. And he, well, yeah. he ended up he ended up going to Franklin, and he was our assistant baseball coach. Oh shit! Okay. He was an English so, teacher. Yeah, and oh, he was AP, a, AP. Yeah, and he was an AP English teacher. Keep in mind. Yeah. And this true. is an important. <laughs> this is an important. Yeah. Yes, yeah. He only he only taught freshmen, juniors, and seniors. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. That's, a, that's a key point to the story later. Yeah. But anyways, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Dude, bro. this motherfucker was... When I say wildin', this motherfucker was... No, yeah. I mean... Okay, look at okay well, okay, I really, so. I really hope he doesn't listen. No, I'm sure he doesn't. Or well, Carla I mean, Gas. Bro, everybody <laughs> listens. You never know. I mean... Okay, Mr. Beneco, so, shout out, bro. I know you're watching. So, uh, you guys have some, like, weird, crazy stories of this guy? Is that what this uh, is? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. so should we get into this now? No, no, no. Let's continue, Let's continue with Joe. Okay, I was Let's like, because you guys continue. got Joe. Like Joe got really happy, dude. Because I'm, I'm <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's gonna be a good. It's, story. it's okay. nostalgia, it's okay. man. Okay. Okay. So okay, so back to you, Chuck. Let's go back to the Chuck, right? So you meet these guys. You meet Joe. You meet Molina. Um, how was it kind of like getting acclimated to the West side? Obviously when you, when you moved over, it kind of sucked having no friends, but eventually things got better, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, obviously met these clowns and it was fun. I mean, he introduced me to Misa and then we just, eventually it was just like, Hey, let's go to lunch. Let's, and you know how we had off campus lunch. We can just go to Sonic or whatever. Or we'd always hang out, uh, like for the volleyball games, the, the basketball games, go to the football games. Yeah. And we'd run into each other. We'd, and eventually it turned into pre-gaming before the games and it just got, <laughs> it just got pretty wild, but it, I mean, it was fun. Right. So, high school, that, man. And high so, school days. Yeah. It's high school stuff dude so eventually and it turned out being pretty pretty fun i mean i acclimated they introduced me a ton to people and then you know i started spreading my wings a little bit and right. started meeting more people you started fucking and now everybody hey, fucking and, and and my, flew the coop and shit and, and mind you i went to molina i met molina and uh like in elementary and then you went to hornado i went to lincoln and i didn't see him again till franklin till fresh freshman uh first day of school and then and then uh then we'd, we'd always go we'd always go English to lunch class. you know so he introduced me to a lot of people too just like with, with chuck yeah yeah and then at the time, I think Molina played basketball. So he yeah, he played to, basketball. He introduced me to a ton of basketball guys, and you know, me being the jock I was in high school, like, I mean, I'm just yeah, of, I remember. Just I remember <laughs> when I first met Molina. We were in a quinceanera. And what? Oh yeah, yeah. And um, 
real fast. We're not going to talk about the quinceanera at all, but we would play basketball because they we would have practice, like quinceanera practice in a backyard that had a basketball court. And Chris Molina had no jumper. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> no jumper. What? Like Dude, the podcast. Dude. Like the podcast. Dude, yeah. No jumper. Dude, Molina was a straight baller. I mean, maybe, I remember maybe he was, pretty good. but that day, no jumper. He was nervous. He was nervous. Day. Yeah, I mean, dude, I'm, I'm not saying he's he can't ball. Was I he playing that against day. you? Maybe he was taking it easy on you. Yeah. No, I mean, we were playing together amongst each other. Oh, I see. But like I said, no I jumper. See. Anyways, um, so you played fucking baseball though, right? Yeah, yeah. And then, so, like, you played before. What private school did you go to? So, on the, I was on the Eastside Kid, so I went to Emmanuel Baptist. It's like Cielo Vista at the time. Okay. Back then it was Eastside. Now it's like Central. Is know. that like an all boys school, like cathedral? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. no, that's no, just no. an all rich people school. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, it's just I, like what you guys and girls can come here. We're yeah, fine. Yeah. You guys just got to cut the check. Yeah, basically. Okay, and cool. it, and it, they had like kindergarten all the way to high school. Right. Oh, in the had, same school. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, wow. I mean, it was small. I mean, you, you fight them little kids and shit too. Like that. <laughs> yeah. God damn. I, mean, I mean, the whole school probably was like two hundred people, man. Maybe. Damn. Yeah, it was tiny. It's I mean, it was tiny. It was school. probably like thirty kids per grade. And I mean, you went there from like like the beginning, four, from fourth to eighth, and then at eighth grade, I was like, "Mom, Dad, give me the fuck out of here!" Like, uh, it, it was just, yeah, you know, it was cool for something temporary, but I liked the high school. I liked Franklin. Why Franklin though? Do you guys have a choice? Uh, I was at district. Like, you know, you had to go to the school in whatever okay. district you're in. Wherever so. you lived in. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I was in the Franklin <laughs> district, but also the baseball team at the time was stacked. So I was yeah. like, all right, I got to go there. So, yeah. like, what's, like, the biggest difference between going to, like, private school and public school? Like, is it just, like... Public school, like the kids just don't give a fuck. The poor people, that's uh, the, the poor people. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, no, the difference, right? A, bu- a bunch of people like us, a bunch of brown people. Yeah, no. but we speak English. It's <laughs> right. kind of weird. <laughs> Honestly, man, it was just more strict. Like they're constantly on top of you because there's less kids. You know? right. So there's like it's one teacher to fucking ten kids. So it's like, dude, oh, yeah. it, like they, fuck that. You're under, well, he's you're, a fucking nerd. You're under a magnifying glass. I mean. I guess curriculum, I guess it was a little tougher, but it all depends on the classes you took, right. you know, like so. <laughs> Fucking I mean. Joe's calling him a nerd. He's a well-educated guy. Joe would have dropped out like at fourth grade. He's like, fuck <laughs> this, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, but it was cool. I mean, it was just smaller classes, so it was like you get to know everybody real well. Right. You know? Yeah, dude, and like I, I remember like people that would come from Cathedral, like Evan, Evan Carter. Carter remember, yeah. like, uh, our, our, Evan Carter's my boy. I hey. told Evan Carter we were having it today because he's coming into town tonight, and he's like, hey, Chuck? Oh, There's yeah, Chuckers? Man. I know Chuck. Oh, yeah. shit. I didn't, know you, I didn't know you fucking yeah, we, knew Evan. So we, I played, we were all the same age, so we okay. played baseball all together. Him, right. Cody Downing. Oh, Cody, Cody Downing. Downing. Yeah, what yeah, happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and he's uh, just hunting now, right? Uh, Cody Downing? Yeah. Uh, he's, he's married to yeah, Talamantes, yeah, right? He's married to Brittany Talamantes. They got a kid on the way. He's a, I, think he's, I think he's a high school coach in Dallas, or in the Dallas area. I don't know. Damn. Bro, you know what's crazy? I lived on the same street as Evan Carter. Like growing up. Down in the valley? On, yeah, on Oleaster right yep. there, fucking off Montoya. And Damn, fucking, how old are we now? Dude, we're 30, 31. Damn. How old are you, Chuck? 31. God damn. Yeah, yeah so I've known, I've known, I like, I remember Evan before I remember any of these fuckers, dude. Yeah. It's crazy because he was always the tallest fucking yeah. kid around. It's like, why? Why are you so fucking tall, bro? Yeah. Did it make any sense? Nah, is he taller than me? Like, yeah, huh? It's because yeah. he played basketball. Yeah, back then, dude, yeah. he was way taller than everyone. Dude, he, he towered over everybody. Yeah, yeah, like, I feel like now, Joe, like, you hit, like, a little growth spurt older, but, like, he was, like, from the get-go, like, yeah, I'm a tall bitch. What's up? You yeah, know what I mean? So that's crazy. Okay, so let's I think go. Joe would have been taller, but he started doing meth. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you seen let's go stuff? back to that because when he called him, when he said he looked like a meth head, Joe I, was like, I, I was super he just skinny, agreed. Dude. He just agreed. I, I was He's super like, skinny, yeah. dude. Like I, I would have liquid lunch, dude, ecstasy. This, this guy looked like he spent he like a whole year at the him. Holocaust when I first <laughs> it was bad, dude. It, it was bad, dude. Even my hands would be like, "You okay, bro? Are you good?" And I'd be like, "I'm just living life. I'm just now. I look, now I look healthy, right? Right, I look good. right, right, right. All the well, I don't know about." Healthy, but you look good. It looks like you laid off the meth for sure. Right. <laughs> Definitely. It looks like you stopped yeah. having liquid lunches, which yeah. is good. Yeah. <laughs> now no, you're the ones that having them, but I don't know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just liquid all day. You know what I mean? Yeah, we're just roasting all this shit. I'm just listening. It's great. <laughs> yeah. All right. So speaking about roasting, let's go back to that guy that you guys were talking the about. Necklace. This coach. So, yes. so I have a crazy story about this fucker. So I had AP English senior year, right? And then Maybe like his first or second pop quiz in the in that semester, the first semester of senior year. He's like, all right, guys, pop quiz. And we're like, all right. He's like, whoever guesses what's on my left pocket gets a fucking A. And we're like, for real? He's like, yep. <laughs> so I was like, maybe a phone, some dollar bills, like maybe a, like a, a clip. Now everybody got around. Dude had a fucking condom. 
Which will lead <laughs> to he had a condom, he had a phone, he had fucking some other shit, keys. Like, who who makes that his pop his pop quiz, dude? Yeah, he he passed me on a on a quiz as well. Cause I showed up like 30 minutes late to his class where your class is almost over and shit. And everybody had already finished doing their quiz. And he's like, you, you fail. Like you, you weren't here. And I was like, come on, man, I need this shit to pass, you know, your shitty class. And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> so we arm wrestled <coughs> for it. <laughs> and he kicked my ass and he's like, I'll give you a B. I'll give you a B. <laughs> Dude. And, and he, he heard about me and Molina. Cause we, uh, we'd had a uh, coach Mena and I guess coach Mena would be like, Hey, these guys, if they get, uh, cause I had them after lunch too. If he comes in after lunch and he doesn't bring you food, fucking count him absent. But if he brings you food, he's good. Take it. Yeah. So yeah. I start taking advantage of it. And all the, all the, the white people and shit in AP white class. <laughs> well, that's what it was. I was yeah. in AP with a bunch of white people. Yeah. I was probably the only one in there. I think that's where I fucking had you for that class. It was a portable class. It wasn't right? his class. Though. It wasn't his class. No. We were because in the it, building. It was freshman year. Remember? It was. Yeah. Dude. It and was, these people would be I like, remember. why did you count him absent? He's like, cause he's bringing me food. And. On record, Molina was the first one in 09 class to have a car. He was <laughs> on so, record. Every, so everybody, on record. So on every, record. Dude, somebody knows that down. So everybody and their moms, first fucking god, dude. Everybody and their moms was like, <laughs> "Oh, let's go to lunch with you guys. Where oh, you guys going? We're going to Arby's. Serious. Peter Piper was a shit. You know, like they saw us that we were not stick to the the right, usual right, shit in right, front right, of Franklin. Right, and everybody right. was like, "Let's go with you. Let's hey, go with you." And Franklin he's like, cafeteria was a shit though. Too. I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I ate one. There was poor. Hey, there was poor. There, there was I'm rich. Right. There was poor, and then there was poor. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, you know what's funny? And I'm, I'm sorry I asked you this, Chuck, but now I can definitely see what the difference between public and private education is. <laughs> because God bless these guys are like the the fucking pop quiz is like. Can you guess if there's a condom in my fucking? No, pocket? he's like, what? Can you guess what's in my left pocket? <laughs> right, and like, that's what it nah, is. A condom. I, that's yeah. that's how they're they're judging your education right there. Yeah. We can't we can't roast, we can't roast Joe too hard because let me tell you, man, he's also he was one teacher that just did not give up right he yeah he was he didn't, he didn't care sure. he didn't care he hey well get into that story get into that story my so, juiciness so i had a, he was our coach since my sophomore year or my senior so when he when he got here as a sophomore he was like that like oh who's this guy i mean he's six four he two, was tall uh, as fuck yeah dude. six four bro two. he had a picture of himself from the packers like punting yeah. Two like forty. Just there in his That's the I first mean, thing he would tell us, like on orientation. Yeah, like, no, no, yeah. You walk into his portable, and it's like his poster of him, like yeah, if right. like, his playing. But what is, you know? wouldn't you do the same if you were him? Like I would. Uh, yeah. Like well, I, I mean, like, well, like, to do what he did. Yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, I asked yeah, him all. Yeah, I was yeah. like, well, well, just because, like, look, if I'm in his mindset, right, I have to deal with a bunch of fucking high school kids. I'm gonna let him know right away. I was in the NFL. No, but be, like, us being high school kids. No, but us being high school kids. Like, you know, what you know, a bum! You know what you're here. You know what I asked him? I was like, "Did you win a Super Bowl?" And I was like, "Ah, uh, fuck out of here." Okay, yeah, shitty ass Joe would fuck it. Yeah, and then I was like, "Who with the Packers? Get the fuck out of here!" He played for the Cowboys too, I think. Okay, so back. Okay, so I mean, I'm just saying. I think I would do that too. I yeah. think you know what I mean. You're barely waking up, Joe. Is that what this is? <laughs> no, it's time to so change his pad. Time. To, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Go ahead with but, your story. But no. So, anyways, this guy was. I mean, he he portrayed to be like the shit, man. Right. He, yeah. So he played NFL. You know, and he had the shrine of him. You go in there, and of course, he told. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Yeah. But, but he was not. I love the guy, but he was not the humble kind. He was not. Yeah, he was just right, like, no, nah, right. yeah, I did this. He had I his favorites that. and shit like oh, that. Oh yeah, yeah. Too. Oh, I mean, definitely. If you play, I mean, especially baseball. The, yeah, the baseball team. I mean, yeah. dude, I'm, I went to class once a week, and dude, I, they would get I, away I, with murder. Yeah, dude, yeah. we didn't do anything. Literally, but, bro. But, I was so brown that this guy didn't even look at me. Yeah, he's like, are you sure you're in my class, AP yeah. class? Are, are he's you like, sure? I used to punt people like you all the time <laughs> in the NFL. Yeah. So I mean, so I made sure as a sophomore, I was like, okay, I had him as an English teacher, and I was like, okay, like if he's gonna, if this is how he treat me, I want to make sure that he, I have his class every year. But as a sophomore, getting to know the guy or whatever, and then, in, like, we had him as a coach, and he was a hard-ass coach. He was, like, also our strength and conditioning, and we were doing all these football fucking Packer workouts and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking, yeah, I mean, I'm not even kidding. It fucking sucked. Like, I was like, dude, this guy sucked. And he would weigh us in, and we had, like, this regimen. It was, I mean, he was serious. Base, but also, like, Coach Vukan and all that. Hey, like, Coach Vukan. Hey, shout out to Coach Vukan, dog. Too. Yeah, he's no, a... He's, Side note, a, yeah, I'll, I'll get to Coach Buchan later, but no, honestly, like, you know, he they, he was a great coach. I got to give it to Benekos and Buchan. They're they, they a good duo. They got us prepared for the season, and, you know, we did good things. But uh, going back to Benekos, he was just – he started getting a little uh, – uh, what's the word? Started uh, touching Misa. There you go. He started getting, <laughs> he's he's arm wrestling. He started, he started getting a little – He started, arm wrestled with me. It was an arm wrestle. It was more like a – He started getting a little handsy with the students, yeah. and uh, more so, than one, I should say. So yeah. I remember that ass slap. So, so – <laughs> 
Yeah. So, I mean, I would remember as a sophomore, I was like, he was only teaching sophomore that year. And then like, we'd all get out of class and then he'd stay back a little bit. Like he'd stay back and then he'd close the door. And then we'd see like the senior girl walked into the portables. Like we, we, we started, we started seeing that like often. Like, Alle- first, allegedly, like, allegedly, 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 right? And we, <laughs> no, we, it happened. We, allegedly, oh, allegedly. God we, we, we would see like one go in there. And I'm just like, oh, whatever. Maybe. Right. Uh, you don't think much yeah, of one. Extra credit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. You think of one, you th- and then you see two. It's like okay. And then you just see like multiple at a time, like just like uh, like just every re- week recurring, right? recurring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, I was like, I know you don't have a class with this guy, so right. like, what, what do you guys have to <laughs> talk for an hour yeah. for? You know, like so whatever. So baseball, a little thing about baseball players. I'm sure when you guys had Ivan Melendez on the show, I mean, it's just it, it's a brotherhood. So like, yeah. you, you talk amongst each other. You tell like if you're hooking with one girl, you're gonna tell them, oh yeah, this happened yeah. and this happened, and you you bullshit around and don't matter. So I mean, sure enough, we're standing there and like we're having guy talk, and you know we're sitting there in the locker room. And then Coach Benekos just started acting like one of the guys. He started acting with us. So, like, of course, he'd start talking and chiming in with his stories. Oh, keep in mind, though. What? Keep in mind. He's a teacher. No, he's keep in mind. Well, yeah, not only is he a teacher, the guy was married. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, he right. was married. That's yeah, fucking right. Married. Yeah. The guy was married. And his wife would come and, like, bring him lunch and shit. Yeah. And, and dude, she was fired. She was, dude, that <laughs> was, was fired. Dude. I remember. She was, she was fired. She was bad. Yeah, she would come. I was like, damn, good for you, Benekos. And yeah, dude, I was like, I need to be a punter soon, <laughs> ASAP. Yeah. She was fired. And so she would come in there. She'd, like, sit around for class, and then she'd peace out. And then, sure enough, a little senior would come walking in and... <sighs> He'd be going at it, you know, like yeah. what? I mean, dude. He, I mean, it was wild. Right, it was, right, was, right, right. It was wild. So, like, he, uh, allegedly, 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 a lot of fucking allegedly. clapping in there for so, sure. I mean, so I, I got mean, the receipts, but I mean, so anyways, I got I the mean, receipts. So okay, so what happened to this fucking so, guy? So, so, okay, fa- right, so if we fast right, forward, right, right, now, right, we'll, we'll right, fast forward right, like right. five, six years after that. We're out of we we were yeah, graduated right out of high school, and Coach Vukan is now retiring from Franklin. Yeah, he was the head baseball coach, so he's leaving, and so there's a vacancy for that job, which is a very prestigious job at the time. Yeah, right. And Coach Benekos was, you know, the assistant. He was coach. next up. He was next up, and so he was. I mean, he had been doing this since I was a sophomore, so he'd probably been doing this for about six years now. Yeah. This uh, kind of stuff. Yeah. And keep in mind, also, he did go through the divorce. Like his wife yeah. caught him. Like, and I mean, it started. Oh, escalating. so he got caught up too. Oh yeah, he got caught up. It was starting. It was starting to become a thing, but it never got to the district. It never right, got to right, the administration right, right. level. Yeah. And so he he applied for the job, and I remember I was still talking to some of my old teammates that were still like seniors at the time. So they were telling me this is how I found out. They were all telling me like all these inside stories, and so they I ended up finding out that he applied for the job. Carla Gasway, the principal yeah. of Franklin, pulls him into the office, and she uh, he goes, "I know what you've been doing." She's like, yeah. "Or who you've been doing?" Yeah, yeah. And she's like, "I know what you've been doing." She's like, "If you think that you're going to get this head job, she's like, I'm going to tell you right now." I was like, "I'm going to give you a free pass. You get it out of El Paso for and good. Never come back. Never, never come back." Co- Holy she's like, "Or you know what will happen, dude? Uh, dude, ale- dude. Well, he had a kid. He had a kid. Uh, he had a kid, dude. Allegedly, one. I knew one of the sisters, the younger sister. They were both volleyball players or cheerleaders and shit. I knew one of them. Now we were ended tight. up having a kid with. And a girl she's like, dude, be. she 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 told me, and she's like, "Shut up, Joe." And I was like, "What's up?" She's like. He, uh, my sister got pregnant with, with homeboy, and I was like, no. And sure enough, that was word on the street. And after that, you never heard of Ben Echols ever again. Peaced out. He so peaced. he peaced out. So, so he ended up going to get a job at, I, mean, I think he went to Dallas somewhere. Right. Yeah, so he, he got a girl actually pregnant. Yeah, dude. Yeah. A, 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 Shit. A fucking. A, a senior? A, yeah, a, a big. Um, I forgot her name. Speak, Joe. Use your words. <laughs> no, dude, I don't know about saying names. <laughs> I don't say names, but she got this girl pregnant. Words. She was a she was a good volleyball player, and she yeah, was you know, popular, you know she was a big popular girl, you. and and, and I mean, th- now and her volleyball ca- career went like that. Nah, dude. She I think she got pregnant right before she graduated, or like the last semester before she graduated. Dude. So they gave for, for sure. So, I heard so that they she was guy, pregnant while she was graduating. Yeah. She okay. So they pregnant. gave the the principal gave this guy like a pass, uh, like basically a hall pass. But well, that's kind of fucked up if she knew. What he well, was yeah, doing. Well, yeah, because then it looks like, bad on the school. Yeah. Well, well to her, I mean, it was all a legend. But which, yeah. But oh yeah, yeah, it was yeah, more. Yeah. It was more. She knew. She right. Knew, I mean, she knew. Yeah, but she dude, improve it, it. It makes. She, yeah, exactly. of course, and it I makes the the kids the school look bad. But it's also like very very improper. Like you can't turn a blind eye. Yeah, to that. I mean, it's what you can prove. Remember? Yeah, exactly. So it's like, <laughs> so, and that was. I don't think she could. Did she so. pass her, her his class anyways? Did what? Did she pass her class? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> she was ahead of the class. <laughs> 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 hey, hey but you know, you know, but that he, he, he was cool, but he was an asshole. Shout out to Benekos. Yeah, know, yeah I mean, I, I wish him well. I like, and so like I've followed up with him. Uh, so Coach Vukan, I still keep 
well, I mean, we can transfer, like switch sides there. Coach Coach Vu, can I still talk to him all the time? Dude, yeah, he, he did he win district for da- in Dallas? No, or? dude, he's won state, state three times. State three times, dog. He Wait. left. He left El Paso. He's like, fuck these niggas. Chuck sucks. I'm going to Dallas. <laughs> Just yeah, kidding. I mean, he, he did what he could with the talent we yeah, had here dude. in El Paso. And let me tell you, all he had to do was go to fucking South. Because you guys Carol. were good. You guys were turning. Yeah, you guys were. You guys were solid. We were solid, dude. But those, I mean, you go to South Lake Carroll, and you're talking about you're talking about like Jerry Jones, fucking nephew playing fucking shortstop. He has all the fucking best, you know, the best everything. Yeah, yeah. All yeah, those kids, of course. Dude, let me tell you something about Coach Vukan, the coolest motherfucking, one of the coolest motherfucking teachers I've ever had in my life. Dude. Yeah. He, he taught awesome. a world geography and a history, dude. Yep. Not, not only was a good teacher, but dude, still to this day, I played college ball. I played with a ton, uh, with a ton of good, like qualified coaches. To this day, best coach I've ever played for. Dude, it's crazy because I, I have a story, dude. I, you know how you walk to the portables, right, on Franklin, and yep. then you have the baseball field to your left. Tell me why fucking Coach Vukan was in a little cart singing Umbrella, dude. He's like Ella. Ella. And, and I was like, hey, yeah, dude, I was like, yo, because I had, I just got out of his class. It was the last class. And he looks at me and he's like, <laughs> and I'm like, fucking Vukan, dude. Bro, yeah, but that no, was a fucking, homie. that was a banger back That was a banger, day. but that the fact that dropped? He, had, he had his headphones on and just jamming out. Shit. Yeah, and and I was his like, little fucking lawnmower. His lawnmower, yeah. dude. I was like, hey. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, nah, I miss that guy. So anyways, going back to Benekos, I, I still follow Vukan all the time. And they're be- him and Benekos are still best friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, and so. Is he working uh, with them? No, 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 no. no. And so Benekos, Benekos ended up going to California, where he's from, you know, back to L.A. Uh, he ended up getting married. You know, I think he has another another kid. <laughs> yeah, another, someone else. But uh, either way, I mean, he's doing well, you know. So yeah, I, man, that's I, I, crazy. I follow him slightly, but yeah, I mean. Totally forgot about all quite, that quite shit, a, quite, a, <laughs> quite a crazy <laughs> background. Like, dude, I, yeah. I, knew, I knew, like, it was kind of going around, like, throughout high school. But, like, because, you know, I wasn't close to the guy or, I, you know, like, I didn't hang out with all the baseball players. But, like, maybe a few years after I left, you know, I, I was at a store, and um, I forgot who I was, but he's like, bro, that's Ben Echoes. That's the girl that Ben Echoes so got pregnant. I was like, no. Nah. Next thing you know, I see a little kid. He was, like, two years old yeah, already or something. I was like, shit, dude. Kid. He looked like blue. <laughs> oh, white. <laughs> no, yeah, I, I, knew, I knew it was a problem when uh, the same uh, when the teacher was fucking the same girl that the students were. Right. No. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. a major red flag. Like, yeah, you yeah. you clap cheeks like, too, yeah. man. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. You're, you're like, wait. Like, hey, can you tell him to give me a ten point boost? <laughs> yeah, tell him to give me an eight. Yeah, dude. I imagine yeah. when you guys realize that you're like, wait. We're like, we're, we're talking about the same Britney. Right. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, in the moment where you're there, like, were you thinking like, oh shit, like. Well, what is your thought? Were you thinking like, nah, like that's fucking, that's not good? Or were you thinking like, my man? Well, I, I think that, that, that <laughs> I mean, us, that mentality. Us, being, us being 16 yeah, yeah. at the time, we're just like, high five, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. You know, I want to be like you when I grow up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, now we're like, much of it. oh, fuck, and that's now, bad. And then I think as it like progressed, once we got like, See, when we were seniors, I was like, dude, yeah, you need to probably I'm stop doing that. Yeah, like, yeah, you should probably stop. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure I saw Misa go in that portable too once or once <laughs> twice. It wasn't armor. That's wrestling. why he graduated. <laughs> <laughs> what, which armor are you wrestling, bro? <laughs> God damn. It's a mud wrestle. That's, uh, that's fucking foul. Anyways, okay, so after that, you mentioned like you played for, uh, for different coaches in college. Is that what you did? Like after you graduated, you went and played ball somewhere. Yeah, man. So after, after Franklin, um, I signed with, uh, Abilene Christian. Okay. So that's like a little school, like outside of Dallas area. Um, a uh, little D one. So, I mean, we were just like, uh, we were like, uh, I always make fun of, uh, I always make fun of our schedule. We were always like that, you know, Alabama, they always like the football team always has like those six cupcake games in the first yeah. season. They play like, the school of the blind, like you know, Appala- like, Appalachian so, State. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, that, that's who we were. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's, that's no, exactly. It's true. No, it's true. It's true. Yeah. But that, that's who we it's were just for to get them hyped up. Yeah, yeah that's like who we were for. Base. So we would go and we'd go play Texas Tech and UT. Get and fucking, fucking mopped. Get dude, fucking. We lose mopped. fucking twenty to two. We'd be yeah. like, <laughs> get back on the bus and go back home. It's like fuck, dude. But hey, I mean, at least you played. You got on the field. I mean, it was cool. I mean, yeah. I mean, Chuck was out there on the side field. He's like, no, say my mom. In what position did you play? I played uh, shortstop and second base. I like Joe, have that. you ever played a baseball game where you're losing twenty to two? Maybe in like MLB the Show or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, I, it's probably what you want to do. Dude, no, I, I, tried, dude, I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried Pee Wee baseball because you know my parents are like, "Well, what is this fucker going to be good at?" Me be Mexican soccer, of course. Football. <laughs> Smoking. They man. put. I did. I got hit. I got hit. I remember I got hit with the little like the little. The little ball, the little ball, ball yeah, the yeah. softball, and I was like, "Fuck this, I'm done." <laughs> okay, Great. I'm done. Fucking Joe. Joe's career hot, summed up in like fucking two sentences, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it was only practice. I retired. 
So, <laughs> but obviously, like, like it was T ball. Huh? <laughs> like, it was T ball. Nobody was throwing the ball at him. I just hit myself. I just found the ball. ball he ran into it. <laughs> he swung the bat too far. He hit his head. Damn. Well, I think we, it was uh, apparent from a very young age, Joe, that uh, you did not have a career in athletics or in baseball for sure. Um, so, okay, so what do you remember about playing, like, uh, in uh, for Abilene Christian? Like, obviously, I like your comparison with the Alabama playing these cupcake schools because you, you, you understand, like, yeah, sometimes some games are going to be fucking rough. But how, obvious, big, how big of a difference is it, like, with high school and, and then college, especially, it, like, it, a little D1? It's a, it's a big jump, man, you know, because you get to that level and everyone's good. Everyone's good. Everyone knows how to fucking hit. Everyone can pitch. Everyone can... You know, it's it's just the, the margin of error is much smaller. Right. You know, so you you get to high school, you know, it's, it's the same thing. You get like, uh, you know, there's always on high school you got like four or five really good guys. You know, and then you get to college, it's like one through nine, man. It's like it's it's just a battle. It's whoever wants it more, whoever's more hungry. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's harder. I mean, I'm, yeah, you guys had Ivan Melendez on the show, and he said, you know, you had rosters of up to forty guys. Sure. That's crazy. Did you, you know, um? Do you guys have um job. like Evan Melendez? We asked him like uh like what kind of stuff goes around like in the in the um, locker room and stuff like that. And he, he told us something about, uh, what was it? Like they had court? Court, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it's, I mean, it, like I said, it's a brotherhood. It's like a frat, basically, man. We're, we're just a bunch of jocks hanging out together every day. We're on the field six hours a day. If, if, it's, if it's practice, we're on the field six hours a day. You yeah. know, or Damn. longer. No, dude, it's a grind. You go, when you play college sports, and then this is not just baseball, this is any sport. Dude, it's a, it's a job. It's right. basically a job. You're going in there, and you, you, I mean, our schedule every day was you had 5 a.m. weights. Five to six, and then from six to seven, you had uh, breakfast, and then from seven to twelve, you had class, and then from one to two, you had study hall, and then from two to fucking eight, you had practice, Damn. and then and guess what? And then you start all over again. And then you the had to start, day. and it, the next day, and then, dude, by by nine o'clock, you're like, you're just dead. You, you don't have, you don't, you just want to go to bed. Right. And it's Monday through Friday, and then you get the weekends off sometimes. You know, you, you or you have some something going on. You know, sometimes our coaches will make us do community service or whatever, just to be part of the community. Right, right. You know, so I mean, it's it's constantly doing something with it. Um, any, any crazy traditions that you guys would do that's kind of like unique to your to that college to that college you know what i think something that was super humbling uh, that i appreciated um every so it'd be like every other week or or maybe once a month i think right. we would go to the nearest elementary dude and we, we'd actually get with the kids who who were struggling you know who, oh, no who, who could barely like afford to get little breakfasts at a public right. school you know like and stuff like that and we'd go and we'd go read to them we'd go we, you know like just kind of just spend time with them like be their big brother it was called big brother right. big sister that's yeah, that's was. actually pretty dope, man. That, yeah, so I mean, and so that was cool. I, I actually kind of missed that, man. It was yeah. it was just kind of cool. You felt good walking out of there. You felt like you you meant something. And then these kids really do look up to you. You sign a little T shirt for them, you know, like yeah, just yeah. kind of like that. And then you know, every once in a while, you see a couple of those little kids come to your game and like look up to you. And it was cool that you just felt like, hey, there's something bigger here. Hey, you know, so that that was cool. Yeah, that's that was pretty cool, cool bro. Yeah. Nice. And you played for four years there. Or how long did you? Uh, that so for? I played for four years, <laughs> but I did go to JUCO one year. So actually, out of high school, straight out of Franklin, I went to a junior college called Western Texas. Okay. Um. Uh. But I did one year there, and just kind of like, uh, actually, we were in that same conference as Ivan. You know, he went yeah. to Odessa, I went to Western. Uh. But you know, I w I went to Abilene right after that. Nice, dude. That's what's up. And like, like, do you miss playing baseball? Like now, like I'm, I, I used to play baseball too, but <laughs> I didn't get. I, I got further than Joe. When bitch, I got way on. further than when fucking Joe. Bitch, when <laughs> no, say I'm I'm on. On. I play. I played up until middle school, and I pitched actually. Yeah. I thought it was pretty good. Chris, yeah, <laughs> stop yeah. lying, dude. I'm not you lying. Are one Anyways, loser. Um, and sometimes, yeah, it's cool. Like, like you think back, and you're like, damn, that shit was fun. Like. The games were cool. Like, I remember being part of a team, and then, you know, like, baseball is challenging. Like, it's not fucking easy, you know what I mean? Nah, and then man. and then as you get older, the levels, like, get, like, harder and harder because you start playing with more talented kids. But do you ever, like, look back and really miss, like, those days? Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, it's, it's something that molded me who I am as a person today, and, I mean, it's just it's just fun. I mean, I, uh, baseball taught me not just more than more than just baseball. I mean, right. it taught me who, you know, life lessons, adversity, how to deal with it. You get punched in the face, get right back up, you know, kind of thing. Um, but no, I mean, I, I, I mean, I love the sport. Still watch it every day on, you know, when baseball's on, you know, I'll try to yeah, watch I, it. I gotta ask you then, who's your team? Atlanta Braves, baby. Oh, I get True. The fuck fuck fucking Atlanta hey, Braves. Hey, those guys are damn. dope. Well, yeah. I'm was, a Dodgers fan. That's why I'm hating. I'm, I'm a Chihuahua fan. Did you become a, like a Braves fan because of like Chipper Jones and Andrew Absolutely Jones didn't. and Matt, yeah. Tom so, Glavin? The, the way I saw it is like, dude, I used to watch uh, on TBS. Right. Fucking, because like, TBS, TBS, yeah. TBS had like friends or like right. all those and shows. And then they that had the Braves that. game. And then and the, the Braves, Braves game. Come on, and then they had Andrew Jones, Chipper Jones. Yep. Yeah. They had all these stars they were stacked. on there. But they were also like, they had like that swag. They were like, 
constantly showboating, talking shit to other players. Yeah, like right. it was just fun to watch. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It was like, dude, that was, was a great area. Was, was there any other sport that you played, or was it just no, always strictly not, kind I, of baseball? Not, well, I was more serious about baseball all the time. Right. But I played basketball. I played soccer. I played, yeah. I, just growing up. I mean, you know, your parents stick you and everything right. kind of thing. So I mean, I played everything. But baseball was something like I always gravitated towards, and I started realizing I was like, oh, okay, I'm pretty good at this. And like, he was good, dude. At Franklin, he was good. I would, I would talk to other baseball players. They're like, yeah, he's fucking Chuckles? Yeah, dude, he'll chuck that shit out of that ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know Chuckles. They're like, who's that? And I was like, and then, no, yeah. so, then, them. so then at what point was it like where where it kind of hit that you like weren't going to eventually like play at like the next level or like how did that like part go for you? Was that even a plan? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, well, personally, it was my plan. You know, like that. that's kind of something like when I was watching sports as a little kid, I was like, dude, that's. Playing sport. college sports would be like, dude, ideal for me. I'd love right. to do that. So that was always like a goal in mind. It's like, dude, I gotta just like just get through school. Let's let me focus on baseball. Let me get to the next level and wherever I play, I play. But you know, it'll be a fun time. And luckily that year, or just like that era, I would say, like Evan Carter. I mean, Ryan Canick. I mean, all those guys, all those guys that you can think of, Nicky Nohos, all those guys that were out there. I mean, they all they were all studs. They were all studs. Right. So it was, it was easier to like really push yourself because you wanted to be better than most of these guys right. too, or at least compete with these guys. So, I mean, and we had good talent, man. That's so a good, good. good guys, man. All yeah. those guys had some skills and talent. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, Evan Carter played, I think, a couple of years at EPCC. And I don't know. I can't remember if he went off and played somewhere else. But, I mean. He's just got too tall. They're like, nah, man, you got to get that. <laughs> You're too tall. There's a high this. limit on this thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, dude. And then, so, at what point did you, like, decide, okay, like, well, I got to start focusing on something else besides baseball? Um. Probably just as my senior year approached, you know, my junior year, I went off, you know, I actually it was, uh, I started getting letters from like the brewers and started getting letters from like, you know, these pro teams, but they're just questionnaires. They're just like shit. Like you just fill out your, like your weight and your height right. and they don't mean anything. Right, right, right. And then, so like I, that kind of, but that kind of messes with, you, you know, it kind of starts telling you, oh shit. Okay. Like, Hey, someone's looking, someone else is watching. Right. Right. And then, well, I mean, to get that letter, you must've been yeah. doing good. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> I was having a good year and that's what happens. You just have a good year. And then all of a sudden in your locker, you have like these letters and shit. Like, or you have like things in there. It's like Harry Potter. How the fuck? It's like mail. Here? It's like right. random mail. Yeah. It's like, yeah. oh, sick. You know, like some, someone's talking to the coach or something. Do you like still that. have those letters? Uh, yeah, somewhere. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. I mean, my parents have like this whole shrine in my like, old bedroom. It's <laughs> right. so, super, you still have your super old bedroom person. there? Yeah, like, like they have it My parents, they have like all my old jerseys posted up yeah. and stuff. Yeah. It's kind of cool. It's yeah. all plastic. Like don't move, don't touch nothing. It's, hey, like, it's like that Hey Arnold, like yeah. the, the old guy used to have for him. Just a little shrine with, yeah. with his locks of hair. <laughs> But I mean, as and then I put that all that pressure in my head though. So my senior year, I fucking was a bust, dude. I had really? I didn't Damn. have a good year. Now, why I, was that? I mean, do you, do you know? Was you, you, there it's like just external stress? pressure. Yeah, it's, it's your own stress. You put that on yourself. You're just like, damn, I gotta, I gotta do really well today. I gotta hit well. I gotta do this. I gotta do that. And then you just put too it's much the pressure on yourself. It's the mental aspect. It's, it's more mental. And as yeah, it is, baseball's right. already a mental sport, bro. Yep, you, yeah. you you have one bad day, you, it just kind of goes downhill from there. And, right. I, and that's what happened that year. But. Um, but so anyways, I, I, I was already uh, expected to graduate that year. I was about to get my degree. So I was like, you know what? Okay. Like, you know, got to go. I mean, I'm getting my school paid for it. Let, let me get, let me get my degree and see where it goes. Okay. It takes me. Yeah. So I used to say, you know, and I still say it to this day, like school's for fools, but not for you, man. <laughs> That's off to you, brother. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you, man. But <laughs> he's like, thanks. I don't know how to answer <laughs> no, no. that. No, 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 but I appreciate that. Uh, but no, I mean, boy. I mean that, so I was finishing up school and then that's when my dad was like, um, I actually was interviewing, like, after that, I was just trying to get a job probably in Austin, Dallas, you know. That's kind of where I wanted to stay out. Um, and then my dad's like, hey, come back over here. There's a company, you know, the, the company at the time that my dad was working for in construction. He was like, hey, we're hiring, you know, send your resume and see what they do. Like, see what they say. Um, so I sent it off, and I, I hadn't even graduated yet. I think there was still, like, a month left in school. And they're like, all right, when can, when can you start? And I was like, oh, fuck, I got a, a job. I got yeah. a job. So I was like, I, and Damn. Dude, I didn't want to do it, honestly. I was like, dude, I kind of want to travel. I was like, dude, I'm kind of fed up with hey. school. Like, I just kind of, like. I just want to chill. Yeah, I just want to chill yeah. for a little bit. And what my dad's, like, kind of pushing me. So anyways, I ended up fast forwarding. I ended up graduating. Coming here, I ended up started working, dude. And I just, like, it was, like, nothing that I expected because it was straight into the real world, dude. It was, yeah. like. Like in five thirty in the morning to five at PM at night, <laughs> yeah, like yes. and early way. dude. And it was, I mean, but it was, but it was like, it, it, I wasn't with like a fucking shovel and a pick, yeah, but it was like, right. dude, paperwork and fucking just, just grinding, just grinding. And I was like, dude, this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. This fucking yeah. sucks. Yeah. And so, fast forward, I, I ended up doing that, sucked it up for two years, but then. Dude, well, the fuck up thing is that this company, my dad had been there for 12 years and my dad was, you know, high up, did a lot of things for this company. And I was just still kind of bottom of the barrel, new, new kid. Paperwork, yeah. Yeah, paperwork, doing a bunch of shit over there for him. And then one day this company comes up literally a week before Christmas and he goes, Chuck, Tony, my dad's Tony. He's like, come, come over here. He's like, we're letting you guys go. 
Damn. Just, just, just especially your dad being there, for dude. 12 exactly. Years, my my dad did a lot. That's slap in know? the face. Dude, it was. It was like, dude, and like oh, for me, I was like, uh, for me, it was like, okay, two years. I'm a newbie. Yeah, 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 fuck yeah. it. I don't care about my dad. Yeah, that's not right. my dad took it personal. Oh like, yeah, you know, of course, as he should probably. Yeah. yeah. And you know, at the time, my dad was fifty seven you know so my dad was getting ready to retire you know yeah, like yeah, you know yeah, and so it's tough and so my dad started looking at me he's like hey well, what what are you gonna do and i was like this is my ticket to get the fuck out of here yeah. <laughs> i'm going to fucking austin dallas i'm out of here and then my dad and then you know i sat down i started thinking a little bit and my dad goes hey let's start our own thing he's like this is exactly what this is what you do and just doing it for yourself he's like why don't we try it I was like, all I'm right. Like y'all hiring? <laughs> so, well, so me, right. my, so me, and my dad. Me it, start, it started off just. That's why it's, it's called CT Construction. It's, it stands for Chuck and Tony. Hey. Wow, I love that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, so we just we just started. You know, we started doing our own thing. We just we opened doors. Um, we know we just like we were like we we don't know what's gonna happen. My dad obviously had been doing it for forty years, so he knew all the people who know what to do and shit like that. But for me, it's I'm green, bro. I don't I don't, right, I don't know what right. to expect. Stressful I don't know what to though, do. too, right? Super like, stressful. If you're starting it, super stressful. The only thing that was going on my side was just like me knowing people in El Paso. You know El Paso. El Paso is a small community. You know, everybody knows everybody. So I'm I'm sitting there and I'm like, okay, well, like, you know, I'm just gonna start talking to my friends. What do they do? What are, you know, what who needs work? You know, like right, you know, right. like and so sure enough, I don't know if you guys know who Johnny Escalante is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So Johnny Escalante, one day I, I'm golfing with some uh, with Chris Garcia. Do you remember telling yeah, I know Chris, Chris, Chris Garcia. Garcia. Yeah, yeah, I know Chris, Chris was my boy back dude. then, man. Yeah. Shout out to Chris. Yeah, dude. And so I'm golfing one day with him. And sure enough, like, I don't know, I fucking I spray a ball far left. And sure enough, I run into this guy named Johnny Escalante. And he's like just about to hit his ball. And he just, I don't, he just starts shooting the shit. And he's like, hey, bro, you want a shot? Like, he's right next to the cart girl. Right. He's like, you want a shot? I was like, <laughs> Sure. sure. Yeah. Like whatever. I'll take a shot. I'll take two. And then and then so he's like, hey man, so like and you know him being a friendly nice guy, he goes, hey, what do you do? I was like, oh, I'm a contractor. He's like, hey, let me have your number. I was like, okay, All right, I'll give him my number. Didn't think much of it. After that, I did my own thing. I took off. He took off. Never expected anything from. Him. I just kind of traded numbers with a random dude. Yeah. And so sure enough, maybe two weeks pass. I get a phone call from Johnny Escalante. He's like, hey bro, you said you're a contractor, right? He's like, hey, I got this bar. I want to make. I want to build. He's like, you want to give me a price? Okay. You're like, huh? Yeah, I was like, whoa, okay. And so sure enough, he comes. I sit down. I meet him, Kiki. I mean, all his little crew and everybody. Yeah. Everyone's great. He gives me a plan. And I was like, dude, and I look at it. And it's like, dude, he's building this fucking huge, huge, huge bar. Huge yeah. bar. And he's like, he's like, give me a price. He's like, actually, when can you start? He like, he's like, don't let's give me a price. He's like, let's, 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 we need to get started. going on it. He's like, I have a due date. He's like, I need to get going. This was like in, I don't know, October of 2016. And he goes, hey, I need a, I need, I, I need to get going Fourth of July. I need to be open. He's like, start now. And I was like, oh shit, we got our first job. So I go <laughs> home. I take the plans. I was like, Dad, we got our first job. Let's go. And he goes, oh shit, okay. And sure enough, man, that's how we took off. I mean, yeah. I, that, honestly, Johnny, I, I to this day, I hope Johnny's listening, man. I mean, he's the one that started our company, in my opinion. He hey, shout off. out to Johnny, shout man. Out Johnny, yeah. man. Yeah. So he, he, uh, we ended up getting the plans to uh, born and raised, born and raised, born and raised dude. far east side. I don't know if born and raised was like the home of the brunch, the Sunday yeah. brunch. Um, super crazy bar. It's the one that gave a uh, model its run for its money, dude. On the east side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, it was it was nuts. But either way, man, uh, we put our blood, sweat, and tears into that thing. We put we did all we could, man. It ended up being like a one point two million dollar job. You know, like wow. to, like he put a ton of money into it, man. Ton right. of money into it. Um, and it came out nice, man. I, I kept following, like you know, as it progressed, because you, you would post up pictures yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Man, that shit looked nice. Yeah, dude, it, it came out great, That's dude. Really and great. That, that was all their design. I just kind of just made it happen. Right. You know, like you know, they just they. They, they go to like Vegas and they go to all these crazy places and then all of a sudden so they're, they're like, hey, do this. And I'm like, all right, let me do it. You, you guys uh, you, you guys made like some apartment complexes, right? Or yeah, just, like recently. That? Yeah, just yeah. recently. Yeah, so we, yeah, we just did that last year. Uh, it's actually far east. Dude, it's booming far east. So every, yeah. all the work that we do is mostly east and west. That was an enormous also. That was like a, a big project that you guys did because I remember, you know, you'd post the pictures. You guys, I don't know if you had like drone footage yeah, of yeah. it and... And you see the progression, and I'm thinking to myself, like, fucking Chuck is fucking building cities out there, bro. <laughs> dude, Shit. check this, yeah, dude. So, yeah, there's born and raised. Born right and there, raised, man, dude, yeah. on a fucking Sunday, dude, on a Saturday night, dogs. Yeah, man. So Built like, by Chuck. So, again, shout out to Johnny, man. No, he, he honestly, no, he really he really got it going. Um, you know, he's, you know, he was kind of like, we he got our feet soaked. You know, we, we got in there, yeah. we did a lot of work, you know, gave us enough cash flow to start going on to the next project, the next project, and it just kind of built from there. Um, which led to some apartments, you know, a fast forward five years later. I mean, that, that that's was crazy. I mean, know, in five years to where you're at now, man, yeah, that's, a, that's a big it. progression. So yeah, we bro. just did, uh, we just did, uh, basically the Montecito East. Yeah. That's what we just did. Um, 
I, I mean, we just got done with it. I mean, it's uh, it, it's it's a good project, man. But I mean, the way we see it is just it, we have to keep moving forward. So it's just like uh, that was just one project, cool to put it on the belt type thing, and we yeah. got to move forward. How stressful does it get though in your position? You know. So now, so you know, my position, man. I wear a lot of hats. You know, me and my pops. I mean, it's not just like. You know, oh, I'm just like a supervisor or anything like that. No, it's like, I mean, not, I'm not only a supervisor, but I got to be an HR guy. I got to be an admin guy. I got to, you know, be a safety guy. You know, it's construction. There's so many facets. Oh, yeah, to yeah, it. yeah, You know, yeah. it's like it's never one thing. That's been my hardest because my dad is like he's a like a micromanager. If it, dude, if you fart wrong, my dad pisses. He gets pissed off. You know, like, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I, I love, straight I, up. Yeah, yeah, dude. I love my dad, but dude, yeah. I mean, he's, he's a hard and ass. That's good because yeah, you yeah. get detail, man. Details is, are important, especially yeah, in the job dude, that you're doing. Absolutely. And, and so that was me, something that I had to adjust and I'm still adjusting to you, man. You know, like, I mean, I'm, I'm a different generation as him too. He's still like pen and paper. Right. Right. And I'm just like this, you know, this computer. I was like, Digital. let me get the, yeah. Let me get he's like with yeah, a laptop. On yeah. Let right. me, let me get drone footage. Let drone me get footage. this. Let me get this out out there. And my dad's like, get that shit out of here. You're wasting time. Blah, yeah. blah, blah, and he doesn't get it but right, I was like right, no right. dad no listen Misa's gonna watch this and get me on his podcast yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at you now if I, if I told my dad if I told my dad I did a podcast he'd be like what the fuck's a podcast you know? <laughs> <laughs> he's like radio talk dad yeah. <laughs> pretty much the same yeah. so how, how big has like your company grown like now like because before it was just you and your dad so like how so, like, so what's it like so, now such a blessing man so now it's just like my whole family so my whole family's in it so now it's mm. my sister my other sister my mom i have an aunt i have an uncle well you got sisters uh, yeah. no i'm just kidding <laughs> fucking <laughs> joe dude fucking joe joe dude. get out of here dude <laughs> <laughs> he's lost who, privileges who invited oh. that guy Fucking creeping yeah. on the guest sister right? and shit. Nah, no Jesus worries. Christ. Okay. It's Joe. Yeah, that's My true. sister would be interested. Oh! oh! <laughs> Is that a challenge? <laughs> Is that a challenge? Get He's like, but maybe my get uncle. Out, get out of here, <laughs> so, you got, so you guys have, like, grown, like... Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we got about... I mean, 12, 12 employees. I mean, right. it's, it's, it's we're not... We're no fucking, you know, powerhouse. But, you know, I mean, do we, we... You know, it's everything that we've ever expected you know it's more than we were it's all yours man yeah dude, i think that's cool man i mean it's uh like i said my dad now is 65 you know so my dad well he's 60 he'll be 65 sure but still either way you know it's getting uh to that stage of life it's like okay now like if my dad really retires then it'll just be mine and i gotta like kind of like keep it keep it afloat you know by myself my dad does a lot so i mean it's yeah it'll be it'll be cool man so yeah that's kind of how ct came about yeah Yeah, that's awesome man man. i love that ct so where can we find uh do they have a do you guys have social media or do you just promote it through your main so uh, we we just have a website we got ctconstruction.com you see a little bit of all our projects man you'll yeah you can go to it you will uh we do we don't do a whole lot of residential we have in the past so you'll see a little bit of you know stuff on there but if you go you, you know if you go to projects right there joe go to projects click on it go to commercial commercial projects and then you can just kind of just click on a little like bars and restaurants we did uh like down off of there off of a uh, harvest Cincy. christian harvest wow. christian yeah, we, did, we did some churches we've done the oh, the, the blow dry bar for the ladies we've we done, do need like a bigger studio yeah, man. Think yeah. About yeah. we need a badass table <laughs> we'll pay yeah, you man. in beer we do we do a lot of medical um, las palmas yeah dude. spectrum stanton optical yeah we did nothing Jesus. but kings champagne dude these are all heavy hitters in the city dog yeah man so i mean we're blessed dude i mean like i said we've done a lot of work for a lot of people man so the coronado yeah. Country Club. I was looking at. I was peeping your pictures on Instagram. Dude, that, dude. That, that shit looks nice. That, that, that was you a cool. That was creep. cool. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's crazy. That was a cool project, man. That was cool. I That's think awesome. uh, Champagne Villain was a, a cool one as well. Cha- that was, Champagne Villain. Yeah, Damn. we did right there off. He's Cincy. got banks, dude. He's on. Oh shit! That's the one that's right next to that boozy bar, right? The boozy yeah, yeah, bar, yeah. yeah, yeah. Boozy, boozy taco. It's not on there. Uh, boozy tacos. We just did that one on the far northeast. Um, it, I don't know if you guys ever been to a Torchy's tacos or a, like yeah, a Buzzies. In, in, Austin. in Austin. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a it's a knockoff. It's a knockoff of it. Okay. Uh, you know, it's yeah. the same owners as Wing Daddy's. So oh no, no it's the same owner because they own uh, Crave too. No, 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 no. They don't. It's a different person. No, right? So the owners of Wing Daddy's own Charcoaler. Charcoaler. And, uh, um, they ended up buying Charcoaler. Uh, yeah. Dad- and Toro Burger. And Toro Burger. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah, they, Charcoaler was for. Like, yeah, they, they bought they, it. They bought it out. Yeah, they bought it out. Damn, dude, that's crazy. Yeah, you guys do some fucking impressive work here, dude. Yeah, man, Shadow so. Ridge Apartments, <laughs> dog. Yeah. What dude now dude I'm gonna be driving with my wife and kids and shit and be like yo my my, my buddy Chuck yo. my boy did that my boy did that I'm driving hey yo Built my that buddy shit Chuck. with his bare hands yeah right <laughs> CT look him up <laughs> don't forget to subscribe too yeah dude that's sick dude well like congratulations for sure yeah, man. definitely I mean, man after like being like in the situation where you're like out of college you really like 
don't know what you're going to do. And then like some shitty company cuts you guys off to be able to turn it into something like this. And also uh, shout out to your dad though. You yeah, know, that, yeah. that's just kind of like, you know, at that age, you know, it's just be like, you know what, let's do our own thing. Yeah. It and was, then it was Chuck being like, all right, dad, you know what? Fuck doing, you know, going on vacation. I'll, I'm right here. Dad. <laughs> Daddy. Yeah. I wish my kids would do that. Hey, son. I know yeah. you're not listening right now. You're only six. Yeah. I mean, that was a drive. Obviously, like, dude, getting cut off right before Christmas. Yeah. I mean, like, dude, I mean, just my dad. It's more so for my dad, you know. Right. Like, right. I, I oh, definitely, yeah. you know, I can look back and be like, you know, I hope my pops out, you know. But That's yeah, awesome, dude. bro. That, that's what's yeah. so, dude. So, okay, we're at 40, 48 minutes here on the first half. By way. Do you want to have Iggy come in or do you want to save Iggy to the second half? We'll save them to the end. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll save them. We'll save them to the the opening of the second half. Okay, yeah. we, we got Iggy I'm gonna dress him up, dude. I got some merch for him, so I'll dress him up. I might put some hair on him or something. Uh, our boy Iggy Summon Diego, local comedian here in EP. Um, we got him. He he comes around from time to time. He likes to hang out with us. He's so. got some big stuff coming <clears throat> up, but uh, he'll he'll tell you about. He'll it. He'll tell you about these shows he's got coming up. He's a funny ass guy. This guy's a funny fucker, dude. Funny dude. He, he hasn't said much, but once we put him on the mic, you know, he's just going to fucking get going. But yeah. um, he'll Chuck, probably take my job. <laughs> Chuck, where can people find you on your for like your personal social media? Where, where can people follow you? at? Uh, so my my personal handle is just Chuck Duarte 13. Uh, and then on just right there on the front, you'll see my website for my company and just kind of a little bit of who I am. And then. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's basically pretty simple. I mean, it's, it's not too hard to find. Me. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. I'm glad I'm friends with Chuck. Yeah, All right, guys, so yeah. what we're going to do now, we're going to take a break, but when we come back on the second half, we have our beer draft. We're mm-hmm. going to talk to Iggy, and then at the very end, we got five rounding questions for our boy Chuck as well. Um, uh, fucking Joe, fuck, what was I? I was going to tell you something I forgot. But anyways. Uh, <laughs> drop the meth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, drop the meth, Joe. Um, okay. So, guys, episode 122, Conversing with Chris and me to the podcast. Uh, make sure you follow us on Facebook, like us on Instagram, subscribe to our YouTube channel. By the way, we got to 420 20 20 20 views. Subs. Took us three weeks to fucking, we went live subs. three weeks ago. Hey, we, we got that. Out. And then we're going to get some uh, merch here going on soon. Yeah. So... Guys, we're going to do the the drink draft or the beer draft. You don't want to miss it because we're also going to give you guys a chance to win some merch, some of the new merch that we got going. So, But you got to listen to the, the beer draft portion. So we'll do that all in the second half. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and take a break. And we will be right back. Hey. Try to replace me, but bitch, I'm one of a kind. You know, I be speed racing up on the highway 95. Look, I don't give a fuck why these niggas hating on me. Oh, wait, because I got your bitch tripping on me. She said my love for methazine got her leaning on me. Spanish mommy with that accent, but she called me Poppy. Okay, yeah, she be hitting my. All right, guys, we are back from break. Episode 122 of Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast with our boy Chuck. Say what up, what up? How are you feeling the vibes today, Chuck? Yeah, this is awesome, man. Mr. This Chuck Duarte, thank you for sliding through. And then and then Misa turned into a chameleon over here. This guy is not Misa, but it's Mr. Iggy Samaniego. I got hotter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he did. Yes. I, I would say you're more, you're way more attractive than Misa, I would say. And I'm like, better, by I, far. I'm better at pressing one fucking button. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> So, guys, if you don't know who Iggy Samaniego is, he's one of our good friends. He's been on the podcast multiple times. Uh, he's a local comedian here. We like to support the, the local comedians. And uh, he came to hang out with us today. Iggy's got some show uh, on Mother's Day, right? Or is it on Mother's Day or it's for Mother's Day? It's for moms, apparently. Yeah, it's the day before Mother's Day, man. But real quick, before, can I give props to Chuck, man? This motherfucker is badass. Oh, dude, thank you, man. Chuck is a gangster, man. Click Chuck. The yellow, click the yellow button. Which one? The yellow that one. one. Oh, so you there press you two go. button. He's like, I'm colorblind. <laughs> what yeah, is it? Chuck is a gangster for sure. He's got a good ass story. Let me let me say, very inspirational man. It's but as he did that with your pops, it's inspiring that you have a dad in the first place, motherfucker. <laughs> 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 <Look at this>. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Chuck, Chuck owns a construction company. You the only motherfucker that. Sounds like the owner and the dude, fucking hey, neighbor. Hey, dude, be, ca- hey, hey, be careful. He, hey, be careful. He's going to be like, can I get a job? <laughs> <laughs> you sit down push that twice, motherfucker. All right. So, Chuck, right. and you let him do one thing. He's got colored eyes and shit. <laughs> hey, yeah, dude, that's, that's, dude, that's what the girls call him chuckles, dude. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, he's got fucking nice cast. Show the, your cast to the chuckle <laughs> fuckers. <laughs> your fans are chuckle fuckers, bro. <laughs> Chuck, just take off your shirt, bro. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe later. Maybe so, later. Oh, if you haven't noticed, Iggy, we've thank been, you, thank we you, got some new merch, right? That's but I'm so, thinking the logo, man. Yeah, I'm before thinking. before you get into your show, 
Um, I wanted to ask you, like, why aren't you wearing any fucking merch today? I'll fucking, I'll rock it, man. I don't you know got? why I have hey! merch on, but you don't. There you go. Mesa from the back with the fucking merch, to the, a shirt to the Throwing face. Throwing like a bitch. Yeah. So, all right, guys. So, Jesus, that's a hairy chest. God bless. Okay. So, guys. <laughs> Look at this dad bod. Look at this dad yeah. bod. He's about to cover his uh, hairy chest here. Hey, Chuck. Sorry about that, brother. Um, our boy. Shout out our boy. Shout out. Shout out. Jesus. Shout out our boy, Chuck. Or not Chuck. Chewy. Sorry. Uh, from, from Next, Next Gen, Gen Sports. For hooking us up with the merch that Iggy just threw on here. Okay, this one is digging it, brother. You even got the side patch, Iggy. So Iggy's got the side patch here, that too. That was dope. When you're doing that, that so yeah, shout out, <laughs> shout out to Chewy, Next Gen Sports. He hooked us up with the fucking merch, and it looks good. And now we got Iggy in this shit. So Iggy, now that you're in a, the conversing with Chris and Misa podcast merch, go ahead and promote your show. Yeah, now it's is, time. It's uh, the day before Mother's Day, man. I'm calling it the Single Mother's Day show. Okay, <laughs> right? Like, it's catchy name. Uh, just bring your mom out. You know, we're actually doing a promotion, man. Where uh, um, dollar uh, tickets ten dollars. And your mama gets him free. <laughs> yes. You know I love right. it. So bring your mama out. What they, if I take somebody else's mama? <laughs> you don't got no mama. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> what if I take their baby mama? Well, somebody else's baby mama. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you would have to not be gay to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take your mama, dog. Keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. She can't say no. She's dead, motherfucker. Oh. Damn. And you're, you don't even have a dad either? Fuck. Hmm. Where's the show? Oh, where's, the show? where's the show gonna be at? Iggy? Uh, the show's at uh, Oh She Duck Brewery, man. Okay, where's oh, that? Oh She Duck Brewery. It's at thirty nine hundred Rosa Street. And trip out on this shit, dude. That uh, where the brewery is, right across the street, is not where Richard Ramirez, the serial killer, grew up. That's where Richard Ramirez uh, saw his uncle not kill his aunt. If you read the book, The Night Stalker, it talks about that house where Richard Ramirez got all traumatized. And this is directly across the street from where the fucking show is. No, nice. she's not brewery, man. 3900. Yeah. Look up, look, Google the fucking book. No, no, that hey, place for is another, real, be, another better reason to go, guys. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Wait, you've been no, there, Chuck? I have been there. Okay. Sheep dude, Dog Brewery. Sheep, Sheep Dog Brewery, dude, they have good beers. I mean, shout out to them, dude. Yes, they actually have some solid fucking beers. Jeez. Dude, my office is not too far from there. My sister told me about it. She's like, hey, you want a beer after work? Fuck yeah, let's go. Look at and she took, me, she took me to this place. I'm like, the fuck are we? He's like, I'm going to It's kind of weird. I mean, it is hard to get back there. You're going to have to, it's kind of tucked in. But either way, man, go and in there. It's a super artsy, super cool building, like brick. Like, it's it's awesome. If you guys like that kind of architecture stuff, it's cool. Yeah. Chuck approved, man. Chuck approved. Yeah. Chuck approved. <laughs> Chuck approved. Hey, it's real quick, man. Speaking of beer, I know you should be plugging my fucking show, but real quick, um, can I get my cousin slash assistant to, can you pass me the bag that's assistant? under the Assistant? An assistant? Hold on. People need to know this about Chuck. Slash oh, party. Let me see that shit. Let me, let me see that bag, homeboy. Oh, yeah, on this shit. Also, he's Chuckie Bruder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So the so the audience can see, or the this is a fucking Gucci. That's an oh, ice chest. Ice. Beer, beer, ice chest. I thought Gucci. it was a fucking purse. <laughs> but hold on, man. But but look, look. The cheapest fucking beer. Though. These, things are, <laughs> these things are two dollars a six pack. Fucking truck, bro. You got a Gucci bag, bro. With fucking cheapest beer. I hey, love you, fucking. To be hey, fair, bro. He, to hey. be fair, it's a lunchbox. Hey, <laughs> hey, he's still not gonna give you a beer, right? He's just, asking. <laughs> he just turned it into an ice chest. But that's the nicest looking ice chest yeah. I've ever fucking seen. Yeah, it's nice. But, oh, I'm sorry, man. All right, so back to your show, Iggy. Watch because I, <laughs> I I've done shows where I produce my own shows. You guys have gone to man. Thanks thanks for coming out for the. Nah, I've never gone. But I'm fucking yeah. I'm talking to the humans. <laughs> I'm not talking to the help. <laughs> to the oh. help. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go delete this episode from YouTube right now. Yeah, I'm gonna get canceled though. <laughs> no, but I'm starting to bring in national headliners, man. Oh, you to, have? To my shows, bro. I'm bringing in Nikki Carr, dude. And this chick is she amazing. Is hey, give yourself a round of applause yes, real quick. The yellow ones are yellow. You colorblind motherfucker. <laughs> you know what? I'm also giving me whatever this button is. <laughs> ah, <no. laughs> the price is right, or what is it? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> no, no, bottom, bottom, there. No, say I'm my mom. Yeah, man, but uh, Nikki Carr is a shit, dude. Uh, I hosted for her at the comic strip one time, and this is the only time I've seen this shit. Because in the comedy community, man, to get a standing ovation is the fucking ultimate. I saw this chick get three, dude, in one week. It's where we see one. She got three in one week, man. Yeah, man. Fucking Nikki Carr's a shit, dude. And um, so come check that out. Uh, Mother's Day, bring your mama out, buy a ticket, your mom gets in free. 
I like it. Yeah, that's it. I'll be there with my mom. Actually, I don't know, dude. She's my mom's kind of not that cool. <laughs> <laughs> she's not. She doesn't drink. She doesn't, drink. She doesn't, yeah. she doesn't drink. She's very like. She should take edge. your dad. You know, I took put a wig on him. Put a wig on him. I have to fucking pay, buy another ticket for him. But yeah, I. But yeah, dude, that sounds cool. So mom's getting free. Dad's are is forty any, bucks. Is man. there any other fucking local comedians from the guys we know that are going to be on this lineup with you? Yeah, man, I have a uh, Sharita and Otis Hicks, uh, okay. lo- local cats. But right. uh, we we brought, we're bringing in Nikki Carr from all the way from Vegas. For True, the show, that's what's man. up, dude. So, that's good. Yeah. Hell yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, and, and, and before I forget too, man, um, uh, my 40th birthday roast. I hope you guys can. Right, that's that what shit, I was gonna man. say. I thought this I was. Hope. I thought you were gonna promote the roast, but that's another thing. What right? day is it? All right, uh, May 27th, brother. Okay. Uh, what time? I'm not going to tell you what time fucker goes. I don't want you showing up. <laughs> <laughs> How old so, are you turning yeah, Hold on. You've been roasting me since I met you. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you took all your turns, brother. Oh, no. I got some more shit uh, in the kitchen okay. for you. Okay. Man. So how old will you be turning for your roast? 40, man. Damn. 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 Hey, don't be lying. For real, 40? Old. You saw the chance here, motherfucker. Yeah. Hold on. You don't know what those are. but. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Bro, Joe and Iggy just trading blows right here. I got the fucking man. Hey, what do, there. Let me get him hey, why do we got fucking Pibbles retarded brother over here talking on the fucking mic? <laughs> he's, he's Mr. Clean's dirty cousin. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys are not wrong, by the way. Fuck, man. Dude, we got some more heat. We'll be there. You should, man. Fucking hey, man. That, that'll be May 27th at... Uh, Borderline Steakhouse, man. Did I take my mama to That's where we went yeah, last time. Yeah, you said we yeah, went yeah, to that trust place. Trust me, your, your mama's going to be there backstage with me, mom. Oh. oh. She's already confirmed. All right. <laughs> so, Iggy, thank you for sliding through today. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, hey, appreciate thanks. you. Thanks for hey, I was going to ask you both. I was going to ask you if you're hiring, but... See, <laughs> see the multiple million dollar project you do. You probably nah. drug taste, man. Fuck that. I can't. <laughs> yeah, and you were just smoking right now. Like, so Iggy, you gotta be legal outside, to bro. start with. Yeah, dude. <laughs> you gotta have papers first. All right, Iggy. Thank you. That's it, Chuck. Nice meeting you, man. Yeah, nice meeting you, brother. Thank you, dude. Iggy Chris, San Diego, you. everybody. Go check him out. Make sure you hit up his uh, Mother's Day show. And then the birthday roast. Yeah, I want to be there for that because oh, okay. I can't wait to hear these guys fucking fucking sound off on Iggy, bro. That shit's going to be hilarious. A little bit off. Yeah, yeah, she's been sounding off, too. Joe's been sounding off. Hey, Iggy, it's going to be uh, 50 bucks for that shirt. <laughs> 50 <laughs> bucks. All right, hey, I got to say, man, shout out to Iggy again. I love that when he comes around, um, he's a good friend of ours. But at the same time, I love giving fucking clothes to homeless people, man. I love it, it makes me feel good. I love it. Oh, yeah, yeah, sometimes we... Next time I'll give him a wig or some shit. That'll probably help him Sometimes out. Sometimes we do charitable charitable shit around here, yeah. and today we closed. Well, now that Chuck Iggy. came around and he, you know, him and his baseball team used to go around and help the community. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. All right. So, <laughs> what we got now is we got Iggy shirtless, and I'm looking at him, and I've never been more turned. Hey, on. Iggy, what does that say in your stomach? <laughs> right. That shit looks like it's been misspelled. <laughs> what that joke we say? We say that joke. <laughs> You can't have a dad bod because you don't pay child support. Oh, oh God. God. He, can't, he can't have a God. bad bod without paying yeah. child support. She's, 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 <laughs> bro, what was that? His roast already started. Yo, Damn. the roast begun. Awesome. I like you. <laughs> You're funny. All right, so, Iggy, like I was saying, thank you again. Okay, fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. now that you have a shirt on, I can con- concentrate because I was fucking rock hard right now. It probably smells like onions and shit. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. So, what we're going to do now, um, I think what we're going to do is, I think it's time for the beer draft. What do you guys say? Is that what time it is? I think so. I think that's what it is. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so. well, real quick. Speaking of, uh, the draft is going on right now. Have you guys even been like? Nah, I, don't no. I, don't know. I know who the fuck. I don't know who the fuck is. No, you guys. Are, okay, Chuck, you're a cowboy fan. I am. Okay, hey, so, yes, sir. Let's go. Unfortunately, yes, sir. I, I'm actually unfortunately. Pretty, unfortunately. Yeah. What? Did you not get your yes. heart ripped out this year? Yeah. No, I know. Yeah, yeah. But like, still, I mean, dude, as a cowboy never, fan, yeah. it was just we're, so we're hard to watch, fans. bro. Like, I mean, I, I mean yeah, unfortunately, but, I hate to see my team suck. Right, but ultimately, dude, like. Welcome to my life. I'm a like, Chargers fan. Like, um, That's I'm just used to that shit. You know what I mean? So, like, <laughs> I embrace, like, I embrace the letdown. And I'm like, you know what? I'm always going to be there for you, motherfuckers. Yeah, I mean, you know agreed, what I'm agreed. I, I mean, I was the same way yelling at the TV. Yeah, I was like, dude. dude, yeah, damn it. You guys are so good, but so right. bad at but the same But at the same, same time, time, I fucking like, love you. Real it's quick, like, real it's quick. Like, it's like a bad ex-girlfriend that's good at sex. Yeah. yeah. I've been there. I've been there. Yeah, you've been there. 
We, we, we've been there been too. There. Chuck's there. always there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm just kidding. Okay. All right. So he uh, learned it from Ben Nichols. Well, what? Anyways, whoa, 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 oh. whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So yeah, I think it was funny because like the way we decided to do do the drink draft or the beer draft is because um, I thought it was funny because somebody put in our rundown notes. Let's talk about the actual NFL draft. Oh, it was me. And I was like, none of us know anything about what the fuck happened no. yesterday. And I don't think we're watching it right now, which we're not. Yeah. And I'm probably not going to watch it tomorrow. So I thought what we should do, which, you know, is accustomed to the podcast, is why not? Let's drink some beers and let's draft some beers. So I think I think that's what we should yeah, do. Yeah, dude, definitely, dude. That shit sounds fun. <laughs> so, okay, Joe, we need a few things here. We need to activate the TV here. We got to pull this shit up. So what we did, guys, and I kind of, me, Blue, and uh, Misa threw, threw together a list of 25 beers to draft from. And uh, it's going to be us four. It's going to be me, Chuck, Joe, Misa. We're each going to have five picks. We're going to go in snake order like a draft would, like a NFL draft. So that means if you go first in the first round, you're going to go last in the in the second round. Um, we this threw is going to teach <laughs> us a lot about what kind of man you right. are. So, yeah, I truck. already know what type of uh, truck yeah. is. Right. So Joe threw this <laughs> list. Come on, it's baby. 25 beers that we put together today. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a draft here. And then, guys, what we need you to do is co- comment on whose team you would be on. So I'm Team Chris, Team Chuck, Team Misa, Team Joe. You comment which team you would be on. Everybody who comments, we're going to do a raffle, and we're going to give somebody a fucking shirt. One of these fresh We're going to give you guys shirts. some gear. Some, or if you guys like there. bandanas, man, we'll, we'll put you in a bandana. brand new bandana. We'll give them, we'll give them both. We'll give them a shirt. Yeah, we'll give them both. You're right, so Joe. that's what we're going to do for you guys. So you guys want to listen to this, make sure you comment. You can comment anywhere. You can DM us. On Facebook, YouTube, but before uh, that, anyway. you need to have you need to have two friends, tag two friends that you'd um, you'd want, and tag them on the one of our posts or or, or comment to us, DM us, make sure they follow, subscribe, and we'll go from there. Yeah, man. okay, y'all so, make sure to be subscribed too. I think what we should do now, since we're gonna randomize the order here, is I, I want. Say, I say Chuck goes first. He's our guest. I say uh, yeah, Chuck yeah, goes yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 round okay. number one, okay, first okay, first pick. Damn. Okay, so we're we're being generous. Okay, Joe. Can you zoom into this, into the list? If you see on the right, on the on the bottom of the Word document, there's a zoom fucking bar. Joe can read. <clears throat> right there. Go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. Okay. So, guys, uh, go scroll up so we can see the beer list. So, this is the beer list, Chuck. Um, obviously, it's like a draft. You yeah, can yeah. draft anything. Keep going down, Joe. Um, but, you know, obviously. Make it bigger. Make, make it smaller so you can see the whole list at once. Yeah, I was about to yeah say there you go. Let's, so, Okay. So I think we should start this off. Misa, can we get the first fucking little tune here? That's right. Here we go. For the, the first draft. Go for it. Go for it, Chris. You got with it. With the first pick in the 2022 Conversing with Chris and Misa podcast beer draft. <laughs> Team Chuck. First of all, I'm going to start off by saying I'm very disappointed that uh, Mentucky did not make the top 25. <laughs> oh, that's, no, that's no, second no, no, round. I will say hey, Mentucky look, is look. better than the top eight. Look, look, uh, hey, well, look, look. Wow. Pick one, pick one that you don't like. Hey, look, and look, we'll, we'll replace look. it with that. I gotta say, Joe. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. It's on the road. Twenty-five been drafted. And no, look, I gotta say, I gotta say, the only reason why we got these because they came from people that didn't go to. Private schools. Oh, oh yeah, so, dude, uh, I've never seen that beer. I've never seen that beer in my life. Like, dude, I thought that was. Like, a, he said two dollars a six pack, dude. This is better than the top what? eight. I'm dude, is it two dollars right a six pack, bro? I'm telling you right now. It, it's Where did like you four. even find dude. that, dude? Uh, Albertsons, Whole Foods, what? Yeah, dude. Yeah. Albertsons, Whole Foods. We never go hey, to those dude, stores. Do you, have, do you have an extra one? Yeah. Do you have an extra one? Should we try? Yeah, let me, let's try one. Big big open up for us. Go ahead, open up for us. Mon Lucky, Mon ah, Lucky. Uh, okay, right. dude. Did try it. Right. Let me I try this. Right now, try it's better bullshit. than number three, two, and one. Okay, okay, okay. Well, right. these, so, these are, <clears throat> all right. So, whoa, dude. No cap. Try it. And then when you start realizing that you're saving good Yo, money for oh, $2 dude. a six-pack, bro. Yo, where can how I get that? How is it $2 That's not bad, a dude. Though. That's oh. not bad. Is it better than Budweiser? Way yeah. Better, bro. Hey, I thought that was like water or something. I was like, is that a seltzer? Fucking Fruit? Chuck is all like, hey, man, you can't stay rich by spending your money. It's buy $4. Cold. Hey, you know, you know what he does? He buys yeah, all his construction tasty. workers, all the Mexicans. He buys them that. He's like, let's go. <laughs> Every Friday, bro, yeah, I, get every Friday. Friday. I get a 30 for my workers, and they, they fucking get, love this they shit, They love bro. this shit. Hey, that's actually really, really that's good beer. Fucking and it's 8%. Yeah. It's 8%, motherfucker. No, that's no, not what that says. That's not what that says. They donate 8%. 
percent of their fucking sales. It's not eight percent. That's alcohol. a great way to have it though, right yeah, there. Like bro, the, the okay. whole eight percent. So it's good, isn't it, bro? Like it's surprisingly it's good. good. You it's have actually it, like, oh, really fuck. good. Like, yeah. I prefer that fucking, over a Bud Light. It's not Keystone. It's not fucking Water Water, but it's, it's not good. I think it tastes better more? than a Miller Light. Okay, it tastes better than Bud Light. You want more? No, no drink it. Okay, okay, so that. look, all right. yeah, you gotta pass that around. That one's good. So that beer didn't make the list. I'm sorry. So we didn't know about we it. We didn't. I never heard of it today. So we can't make the list. Okay. Sure. All I know is just Kentucky the Mustang Cold in there. Snacks. Fucking sponsor me. Man, I <laughs> sponsor Cold <laughs> Snacks. <laughs> No, Bo- kill it, kill it, blue. Dude, honestly, followed on Instagram, dude. They have fucking awesome fucking gear. Like, it's just cool. It's just a cool fucking it's beer a, brand, it's, dude. It's a good brand. You can get behind. How did you find this beer? When did you find this beer? Uh, dude, uh, Palomino. Palomino. Hey, sells Palomino. Sp- is that what you were drinking that night? Yeah, dude. Pa- dude, Palomino sells these things. I was like, dude, that beer can looks fucking cool. Is that a unicorn? And sure enough, that's a fucking unicorn. Because right? I offered it's him because <laughs> we <laughs> the the last time that we we I saw this that's guy. A horse, but it I, like a I, I ran like into my Palomino for St. Patty's, and I was like. He, I was talking to some people that I didn't know. I was there with the girl. Shout out Brianna. She doesn't even like me anymore. She doesn't even talk to me. Whatever. She's Someone's like, butter. whatever, <laughs> whatever. So he, I'm he still shout her hey, out though. Hey, I'm talking. Yeah, so she, because I know she's a she's a weekly listener. So uh, I'm there talking yes. to I'm talking to her to her, her cousin in law, whatever. And he goes up to me because Chuck knows him from baseball, and he goes like, "What's up, Joe?" And I was like, "Who the fuck?" Oh, I was like, "Oh shit, down there." Oh, what's up, Chuck? What's good, man? <laughs> we chopped it up. We talked it up, and I was like, "Yo, dude." You should be on the fucking pot. And he's like, I'm down. I was like, you remember Misa? He's like, fuck yeah, I know Misa, Misa Chicha. Let's go. And Where's we, we talked about it. And then now, we, the now he's here. Okay. Yep. So Whoa. let's do the beer draft. Then. <laughs> let's go. Hey, let's go. <laughs> let's go. I don't know where yeah. we were going to hey, go with that. But wait, what I was going is that I offered him some shots and he's like, nah, him and his fiance. And he's like, nah. <laughs> okay. He was drinking that bullshit. <laughs> Kentucky, I thought it was bullshit. Montucky. Snack water. Montucky 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 Cold Snack. That's a beer. It's beer, bro. It's beer. <laughs> Are you sure it's not a okay. seltzer? No, it's not. It's beer. Fuck. Can we start the fucking draft? <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> okay. Tell right. him, Chris. My number one pick. My number one pick. Number one go. pick. Hold on. Give me Wait, the do, sounder do, first. I was about to say, do I get like a, a clock? Like, do, like, like an actual clock? Just like. Yeah, we already went way past yeah, the you're clock right. time. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to go with uh, Dos Equis. Oh, oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Come on. Oh, you're so, a fucking asshole. So yeah. write, write that down on your notes or something so we all won't No, he's going to mark it right there. Look. Dos Equis, Chuck. Okay, hey, so okay, look. Okay, okay, there we go. What we said, at, at the end, he can do like a team. Yeah, is, we'll do teams. What we said is that uh, we would go to the right. So to your right, Chuck, would be Joe. Mama. So Joe, you got the second pick. Why am I not here? No, I mean, you're not on the bike, brother. Sorry. He's all like he's all he's I mean, all bad. Sad, he's all <laughs> sad. Okay, Joe. I feel left out. You're on the fucking clock here. Well, go give ahead. me one. Give me the give me the give him the chime. I'm timing you. Here we go. Two minutes. Chris, call it out. With the second pick in the 2022 Conversing with Chris and Misa podcast beer draft, Team Joe selects Tecate. Tecate. Yeah. Yeah. You Mexi. Wow. Okay. Dude, the guy that reminds me of that kid from the hood that's always fucking good. <laughs> right. Straight baller. Right. That's yeah. a good fucking beer. Yeah. yeah. It is a good beer. Okay. Solid. Yeah. All right, Misa, you're up next. Round three. I'm not gonna announce every fucking one. No. Of it's gonna take for, for round three. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. You know what? I'm gonna. Uh, or pick if three. This is sorry. a team. Pick three. Round one. Pick three. If this is a team, uh, I'm gonna go with Corona. Everybody loves Corona. Jeez. Oh. There you go. You got Corona on that. Except for Chuck. <laughs> All right, guys. I got the fourth pick here. Let me give me some sound. And with my number one pick, we're going Heineken off the board. Hey. Wow. Off the board. My favorite. Tastes like weed. Yeah. I, I don't think, know why I like it. I think it. Chuck only has <laughs> one favorite beer. <laughs> okay. So, Chuck, since you went first, we're going to reverse the order. Let's do it. And now I go, will yeah. get the second. The first pick of the second round will be Bud Light coming oh. off the board. You can already tell he went to Coronado. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Loser. All right, Misa, let's keep this going. <laughs> what a weirdo. All right, all right, all right. Round two, pick two. I'll go with the Bud- Budweiser. Oh, oh, the red coat. Yeah, red coats. I like that. So I, I like drink. that. All right, Joe, let's keep this rolling here. Joe? With my pick for the second <laughs> round, I got Carta Blanca. Oh, oh Cardi B. Uh, he's going Cardi all Mexican B. team, dude. <laughs> Right, Mex- Joe's only choosing Mexican. Yeah, yeah, but he goes, goes for USA. USA. <laughs> yeah. I go for Mexico. You fuck. <laughs> I was gonna say he's Cardi B. Different country. Over okay, there. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. For round two, pick four, Chuck. Who do you got? 
Uh, I'm going to go with Ultra. Oh! oh. What a surprise pick in the second round. Right? All right. You can tell this guy went to a primary school. What number is it? It's on, it's on uh, there. What do you mean is it 15, on there? 15, bro. Come on. Right there. Jesus. <laughs> Joe's like, where'd you get that? All right, so. Okay, so Chuck goes again here. He's got another pick. Oh, shit. First pick, round one. Hey, right. wait. So then it's just always between you two? No, it goes back. No, going back. Yeah, it goes back. back that way. Oh, yeah. no, let's go that way. Yeah. yeah, it's going back to boom. So That's then right. you'll be last and then you go first again? Yes. So it should be you two going last and first? Yeah. Yes, sir. That's bullshit. <laughs> That's know, the way right? the That's trap works. works. Jesus. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't make this shit up. <laughs> yeah, you did. did. You I did. did. <laughs> I made this whole thing up. Uh, um, <laughs> the next one I am going to go with Miller Light. Oh. oh. That's the, the beer of the Dallas Cowboys. Fuck. It is. All right. Let's go, Joe. I got a, this round, I'm going to go with the Blue Moon. Oh, oh Blue man. Moon off the board. That hint of orange. Wow. It's really heavy, though. Really heavy Dude, beer. You have one and you're done. Yeah, you have He's one got of JJ those. Joe. Zero JJ drinkability. Joe. JJ Joe. Zero poundability right there. Yeah, yeah Zero yeah, yeah. poundability. Zero ability. Ability. Right. Shout out, Tony. All right, for my pick, guys, um, I'm going to pick this one for the uh, only reason that there's more than just one. It's a Samuel Adams. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. I should get a few votes nice, on that one. Nice, There you go. All right, guys. For my pick here, uh, I'm going to go foreign. I'm going with soul. Ah, yes, yes, sir. Sir. I was going to say, that's yes, Joe's sir. linebacker yeah. right there. Dude. That, oh, yeah, there you go. Dude, I'm looking good right now. Soul hiding in my life. Oh, fucking <laughs> All right. Chris sounds thirsty. <laughs> Next pick I got. Let's go with, you know what? I'm a Texas guy. Shiner Buck. Oh. Ooh. Dude, my team is fucking stacked. All right, Misa, back to you. Yeah, well, my next one's going to be, uh, that's right, guys, Guinness. Get it to it. Oh, okay. Guinness. Mm. Okay. My list, my, my list uh, is open for anybody okay. and everybody. Okay. Damn, damn we're getting right. down to the. Joe? We're getting down to the nitty gritty over here. He's going Modelo. Modelo is going to the top I can fucking see Don't it in your ball. fucking Mexican yeah. eyes. It all, it all depends on our audience. Here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we we got a we got a big open yeah, uh, thing bunch of Mexicans in there. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Probably, you know what we should have added? We should have added like milk or something for the people that don't yeah. drink water, water, whatever. <laughs> Aguas, aguas, <laughs> agua frescas. All right, here we go. Who's next? Uh, uh, let's do it. Um, I am gonna go with wait. Is soul is on there? Soul no, is on there. Oh, you, bro, yeah. you left my soul. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, be better at your job, soul. Joe. Everything's good. Oh, fucking All right, well, it now is. I get a little. Four, yeah, yeah, I have four now. They, they're going to all have four after this round. Did you pick Shiner Bach, Chris? Yes. We're good. And he picked Heineken. All right, all right, all right. Bud Light. So let me let me name the ones that are still there, all right? We still got Coors Light. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then we got uh, Miller High, High Life. Life. We got Paps Blue Ribbon. We got um, Amber, Amber Bach. Bach. We got Rolling Rock. We got uh, Shock Top. We got Natural Light, Bush, Keystone, and Coors Original. Oh, All right. Okay. There you go. Um, I'm going to go with uh, Shock Top. Oh, that's oh. a good one. No. That was my next one. Thanks, Chuck. No. All right, Chris. I don't know. It goes to Joe. Oh, Joe. It goes this way. Boom. Amber Buck. Oh, the Amber. I got fucked up off an of Amber Buck keg one time. Threw up in my brother's backseat and at Taco Cabana, by the way. Yeah. Just wow. saying. Amber Buck story. Okay. I love it. Go, yeah. Joe. Or Misa, sorry. Yeah. Well, for mine, I'm going to do a popular one. It's going to be Coors Light. Coors oh, Light. Oh, wow. It's number one for a reason. I'll be number one. <laughs> it was number one because yeah. I just typed it in there. Yes, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. My last pick to round out my team. Um, All right, Chris. Hold on. Hold on. Can you name the last four? Last four ones, right? Everybody, we all got one more to go? No, no, no. So there's going to be five that don't oh, get five. drafted, right? Because there's five for oh, each that's right, 20. That's right, so that's right, 25. That's right. So five of them are not going to be drafted. My last pick is Miller High Life. Miller High Life. Yes, sir. Oh. The champagne of beers. Yeah, if you're you're fucking like 80 years old. <laughs> if you're fucking on the budget. Yeah. All right. Last pick. Or well, that's it, right? That's it, no? No, yeah. I mean, look, we still got one. We should, one, have, two, we should have three, five four. that are checked. Five. Yeah, we got okay. five so those five are... No, that's it. Those Everybody got four. We only yeah. got four. So. 
That's it. Okay, Joe. So name the teams. Team Joe is who? Can you type it on the side or something or at the bottom? Start off with a. Uh, no, I, I was going to say Duck. Go. He needs one more, actually. Chuck. Let's... No, Chuck. One, two, three, four. He's got four. Everybody's so got, we got four. So we got Joe. We got Tecate. We got Blue Moon. Wait, Amber Buck. My Carta. Right too? And Modelo. Oh, damn. It's all good. Modelo. Or we did. Amber. We're missing one round, no? That's where we are. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, okay, so one more round. This is my pick? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was like, I need the music. Um, I am going to go with uh, Pabst Blue Ribbon. Oh, oh, wow. Dude, that, that, one, are. He, that, he, one, that one's like a... He would like, be, for, he would be like from Dallas. That's like a Tom Brady right there. I'm not he would Dallas. Be, he, no, he'd go to school at Dallas. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, Joe. Why is Joe so mad? He's so aggressive. Oh, Jesus. Always. Okay, Joe, your turn. I got cores. Where's original? Oh, Where's original? All right, Misa, your turn. So I always still have one. Yeah, extra I'm gonna go with Rolling Rock. Oh, that's, that's a sweet. good one. Okay, <laughs> I'm so confused. How did we get this wrong? <laughs> we still have beers left. It's all right. It's uh, just the last one. Twenty-five to four. I'm going with uh, Keystone. Wow, instead of Bush? <laughs> yeah. So Bush didn't get selected. So that's it. I don't Chris, yeah. Chris, Chris or, natural, and, uh, or Natural Light. Or Natural Light. I don't know how this happened. Four, 25 four. beers to four people. Do the math. Yeah, dude. It's not even number, dude. Come on. Fuck we should have stopped that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. All right, Joe. That's why I thought you were going to include him. What are the math. teams, Joe? God, this <laughs> fell apart so terribly. Joe, what are, okay. Joe's got Tecate, Blue Moon, Carta, and who else? And uh, Shiner. And Shiner. I think. <laughs> you think, I got Shiner Buck. I got Amber Buck. Yeah, Amber Buck. Okay, take that off. Modelo Amber? Just delete the Amber part, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. No, no. Oh, God bless. Chuck, I'm sorry you have to watch Dude, it. Dude, I'm glad everybody okay. can see this. All right. Okay. So they know who we're dealing Chuck, with. Okay, <laughs> Chuck, fucking Joe. <laughs> what's Chuck's team? <laughs> Look, this is the hardest thing we've ever done. Dude, this is so He's hard. Right, Joe, come on, bro. It's a word. It's because I don't know who the fuck's writing paper. Okay. Everything's like triple Chuck, spaced and shit. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Okay, Jesus. Let's change the space, Joe. Okay. I don't have time for all that. Okay, Chuck. <laughs> Right. Joe's so, computer uh, literacy Chuck, just showed. Chuck, Chuck Scott Miller. Chuck okay, Miller, Chuck Scott Miller. No, wait, I'm going down the list. Yeah, yeah Miller, Paps, Ultra, Ultra, and Dos Equis. So is, yeah, what? Are, are you, you still missing one beer? Yeah. For who? Shock Top. Shock Top. There you go. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> God bless. All right, there you go. Okay. So Looks, now it's, this is way harder than I thought it was. <laughs> I thought yeah. this is way more difficult. What do you got, Chris? Chuck's what about to got? pass out right now, dude. This Chris is got Bud Light, of course. Ugh. I got Bud Light. I got, got Heine. I got Shiner. He's got Soul. I got Soul. soul. And I got Keystone. I got, Keystone. I got Soul <laughs> and the Super Bear. All right. Then it's Misa. Misa Shisha. Yes, sir. We got Coors. Corona. Guinness. Sam Adams and Rolling Rock. Damn, that's a winner right there. All right. So, I don't know about you guys. Okay, so Joe, real fast, recap the team, starting with your team. So Joe had uh, Tecate. Mm-hmm. Tecate. Blue Moon. Mm-hmm. Carta. Amber. And Coors. Uh, Coors Light. Yeah, Coors Light. No, he had Coors yeah. Original. Sorry, no, Joe no. had Coors Original. Coors Original. Had okay, Coors and then Chuck's team. Miller Paps Dose Shot. shot. Hey. Oh, okay. Ultra. Yeah. Shot. Dose ultra. Shot. He had Ultra as well. Ultra. Oh, add, add, add ultra Ultra's on there. No, not on his list. Throw some oh, yeah, it is, it is, it is. Throw so some commas cool. in there, Joe. <laughs> yeah, dude. I don't have time for that, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> or, like, space them out, dude. <laughs> don't, don't, bro. He's struggling hard. All right. All right. My team was Bud Light, Heineken, Shiner. Soul and Keystone. That's a lineup right there. Yeah, we'll make a post about all this right after this <laughs> podcast. Uh, it comes out on Sunday, which is today if you're listening to it. Uh, but if you're listening right now, go ahead and check our, our <laughs> post, our Instagram or our Facebook, and uh, you'll see our teams. Pick one. Uh, you guys make sure to show everybody Team else. Chuck. Team Chuck, Team Misa, Team Joe, Team Chris. 
uh let us know and a uh, winner winner's gonna get a shirt a shirt and, uh, and a bandana, bandana. Make but also sure guys also make sure you guys could get at least two people to follow and subscribe that would help but if you can't do it it's fine we'll you know we'll, we'll write your name down and we'll We'll think about it, you know. We'll think about you. We'll think time. about you. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, think about we'll, we'll, we'll think about we'll you. We'll think about what to do with you. <laughs> okay. All right. So that was our beer draft. That wow. went really hard, right? Well, that was hard well, to when do. You have that Joe was hard. Over here, fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm all like, wait, wait. like Joe. Hey, we have the mathematician here. He's like, why are we uneven? Well, no shit. <laughs> well, twenty five beers for four people. I, well, yeah, you can't. I didn't work it out correctly in my head. I thought I thought blue was gonna be involved. No, that's blue. why I was like, "That's perfect." I was right the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blue was right this whole wrong. time. Hey, I don't know, but um, <laughs> okay. times like this is where I wish that uh, Molina was here. So <laughs> yeah. All right, so you guys want to do some trending topics real fast before we get into these five random questions? We could right now, but uh, what I want to do real quick is, um, is there any shout outs you want to give out, Mr. Chuck? Man, anybody you want to say what's up to, or you know, dude, to all the to all the high school boys, dude, Chris Garcia, and Chris dude, Garcia, yeah, Tope, he's a good dude. I mean, I hang out with him all the time, man. He's a good dude. Um, to all the people that have been on here before, I mean, obviously this paved the way for me to be here, man. So hey. I mean, if I know you, I don't know you, or whoever's been here, man, awesome. Shout man. out to all the guests that've been around. Uh, but yeah, appreciate you guys having me though. Seriously, Thanks, yeah, shout out to you guys. I gotta ask, man, if you don't mind me asking, when are you getting married? I know you're engaged now, dude. Yeah, just got engaged in December, dude. So uh, uh, honestly, so dude, it's it's been crazy. So uh, actually, pretty quick, funny story. We uh, right when we got engaged, we're like, oh, let's do a destination wedding in Mexico. My family's all from Chihuahua, dude. So it's like we can, you know, we can all, you know, go down to a beach and Cancun yeah. or somewhere. Well, you know, that's what we want. something small, destination wedding. We wanted to Something try to get small. out there. He's talking about Cancun. And shit. Like, <laughs> well, no, I mean, like for small people. for me is Escarate Park, brother. <laughs> <laughs> the pavilion at Marlin. <laughs> House in Butte is the best thing go. we could do. But yeah, so, so something like that. That's what we were looking for, dude. So we ended up starting like fucking talking to people and trying to get down there, dude. Resorts right now are screwing people. Yeah, yeah. They are straight up just telling people, hey, your wedding's all included. Like your cake, your food, your your dance, Everything. everything's included. All you got to do is promise me twenty rooms. I was like, oh, for a hundred yeah. percent wedding, twenty rooms, no problem. What are your rates? Thousand dollars a night, God minimum damn. four nights. Oh yeah, dude, minimum four nights wow. to get there. And this is in Cancun. That's yeah. crazy. I'm going to Cancun in in the end of June. But the cool thing is, like, my mom's like, um, they're they're um, they're part of this like group or whatever that, that for like all these resorts. So their price hasn't changed in the past like fifteen years. But because we're trying to take like at least like thirty family members, they all have like different prices, and yeah, it dude. fucking rates like from one whole week that my mom is spending there, it's like two days for somebody else that's coming with us. No, no, dude, it's it's nuts. They're screwing people, in my opinion. That's why you get around, a so. you get a just condominium and just rent it out. Dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, shout out to my grandma. Yeah, yeah. So, well, I, mean, I think they're trying to like fucking get back some of the money they lost from the lost COVID. COVID yeah. Yeah. Well, but that was that's just one thing, dude. So then they started telling us, oh yeah, well we have three weddings a day, so you're just gonna get it, you're a just certain amount of time. In the morning, you're, yeah, it's four hours. You get in the morning, you get the afternoon, you get the evening. Wow. Well, like CP said, like everybody's trying to have their wedding in Cancun. Yeah. Or, or not just Cancun. I mean, we do. We ran it for three different places, and they yeah. did the same thing. It's, it's just in Mexico, Mexico, coronavirus. Puerto Vallarta, things, yeah. Cabo, dude. Every everybody in Mexico. If you have a resort and you have a wedding venue. You're doing the same fucking thing, but right. you know it's all—it's always not who you are. It's who you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, true. I don't know. Yeah, you, some, you guys should haul out some real ones. Like, I got some cartel family. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Chuck, dude. Well, congratulations, man. I yeah, gotta say. It. Yeah. So yeah, no, we don't have a date yet, but uh, we'll, hey, she, uh, she's a she's a she's a lovely young woman. I met her at St. Patty's. She's great. Really man. She's nice, great. Man. She's, she's, uh, she's, she's really my better good. half, dude. She keeps me in line. Like, what, what's her name? Tara. Tara, shout, shout out, out Tara. to Tara. Hey, thanks for letting our man. You gotta come make out. sure she watches episodes. Yeah, you know? no, dude, she, I was showing her a bunch of videos. I was like, I'm gonna be on their podcast. She's like, yeah. oh, cool. <laughs> that's what's yeah, up, shout dude. out to her. Hell yeah, that's yeah. good. And actually, um, I've been married for one year today. Dude, oh, today? Wow. Wow. Was it today? Yep. Congrats. 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 Doing a podcast, I'm holy shit! My pod. wife wow. would kill me. She's yeah. like, "You really on our anniversary? Yep. Our first year anniversary?" This dude would be in the fucking body. <coughs> yeah, dude. Hey, that's that's why we go. That's, that's why we go to say tunas, and he's like, "I'll oh, we'll get you whatever you want, girl." <laughs> All right, so do you we'll guys? Take a, you know what? We'll take them out after this. Both of you them. You guys want to yeah. do the trending topics? Yeah, let's, let's do, do this do trending okay, topics. Let's get it. I'm gonna let you do that. I'm gonna let you handle that, Joe. You got the trending topics. Do you need another beer, brother? I do. Okay, he needs another beer. I got one more. I got one more. He's already, dude. He's. You, you don't need nobody's help, brother. Hey, you sure you only got six pack? I feel like you Jesus. had like a twelve pack in there. He's taking out like at least Cost thirty me four beers. bucks, baby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I mean, you're buying four. the shots at, at uh, you're buying the shots at Utunas, right? Down, let's do it. Let's Damn. go. Hey, he said, say less. Anyways, <laughs> for first trending topic, 
Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the story that came out last week. Um, these fucking kids right here um, saw this um, this fifteen year old. Uh, these these are uh, 15, 17 year old. These two fruit cakes, fucking douchebags. <laughs> saw this kid. Uh, his name was uh, his name is not uh, released yet, but they saw this kid flexing some money on Instagram, and they decided to you know pull up on him and stab him to death, man. Yeah, they tried to rob his ass. They tried to rob his ass. And they fucking killed this kid. And this was like off of like Alameda somewhere in the lower valley. But yeah, this uh this shows you why not to flex on the gram when you're 15 years old. But I mean, that's what's, that's what's And how much do you think though. they were flexing though? Like, dude, he was flexing at least 300 so, bucks. Yeah, 300 no. bucks? No, nah, dude, I mean... <laughs> These kids are dumb for life, bro. That's, that's well, the sad they, thing, man. That's the whole no, but because you see, you see this shit all over fucking social media, man. Like, regardless of who you're following, you're following, like, you know, like, 6 9 or some shit, you know, like, something that the kids are really into, and these guys are flexing money, so what do you want to do? You want to do the same thing they yeah. do, and um, it gets you in trouble like this, and guys like those two guys right there, and there's another juvenile that yeah. also got arrested for Yeah, it was a 17 and 15-year-old. Yeah, these guys are, are pieces of shit. Get a fucking job. And they stabbed know? him, dude, just because he was supposedly, like, what I saw on the t- no, on the fifth time story was that the dad was drug dealing, so this kid took had some money, he was doing some work, pushing weight, I mean, uh, I might be wrong for was, saying this, but I hope they get it up the ass. When he was he was jail. flexing. That's probably uh, already happening, bro. Yeah, he was yeah. flexing uh, like an armful of money and stuff. And these kids uh, thought it was gonna be a quick lick, and they ended up stabbing him, dude. They and it always him. goes yep. wrong, dude. Drug deals always go wrong. And you know what's crazy? I don't know if you guys remember this, but a couple of years ago, there was like this big story that came out of El Paso and event rival viral. And um, the whole thing was like there was a, a bunch of kids that were making like uh, it was the like cop noise. that went viral on the fucking live PD. Remember? Yeah, and oh, yeah. <laughs> bu- like there was this cop that actually took out their, his gun. He was aiming at these kids, and they look like they're like 12, 11 years old. So like it went viral. Like, who, why the fuck is this cop pulling out his? Well, this kid who actually died was um, actually part of that whole scene and stuff. So. It's so just supposedly it. one of these kids that actually there was a while back where there was like a hit and run or something. This one of these kids were involved in that, and now look, he's involved in some shit again. This shit's wild. Yeah, it's wild. You got Listen. any thoughts on this, Chuck? Dad, be better. Honestly, people need to be better, dude. Oh, dude, and that also shows the power of fucking social media. I've always said it, dude. Social media is such a two edged sword. I think. Right. I think you can do great things with it, but it's also <laughs> fucking for this shit. It is dumb. It this is, is dumb. the negative side, dude. Right? Absolute negative side, dude. Yep. Kids, fucking, kind of tells you too. Like these are young kids, man. Like parents, their life is parents ruined. Out ruined for fifteen years old, bro. Not just two, three lives are ruined because of this. Yeah, well, plus man. the parents, four. everybody that four has, lives. everybody that, that has to deal with this. Yeah, shit. like all, the, the kid who got killed, those. and then the three of them that dude, were involved I, in killing I, him. I bet their parents are also just like looking at each other, like. Hey, Dude, I mean, it's, it's just sad. It just sucks. No, but I mean, like, really, yeah. as a parent, us, as we we're being parents, like, yeah, yeah. if that was my kid, I'd be like, fuck, I fucked up. Yeah. But if I try... And you it, have to. Like, as a parent, you have to take some type of responsibility definitely. when your kid is doing shit like this. You have to think about it, man. Like, what the hell are you doing that your kid is out there doing all this shit? Like, right. You know, you yeah. might not do it enough, you know, and, I, and I'm not, you know, like trying to judge anybody because, you know, being a parent sometimes is rough, especially, you know, in the different circumstances that people live. You know, there's people out there that are living, you know, that are working two jobs and, you know, they can't really see their kids. But at the same time, it's like this is what's going on when when these, you know, young guys are, are not being led by, you know, example, yeah, you know, when they're, they don't have any parenting, brother. Yeah, yeah dude. So, you know? and it, if they do have parents that are always around, then that's some shitty ass fucking parenting. Yeah, right? like, like you don't know what the fuck your kid's doing exactly. or what he's up to or what he's yeah. dressing like, or who's yeah. it, who his friends are. Everybody but. listening, if you got kids, keep an eye on your it's kids. It's the fucking cha- it's the challenge of yeah, being a love parent, them, hug dude. them, dude. Yeah, give them some love. Yeah, that shit's. I'm yeah. like, I, I don't have kids, but obviously that's not easy. But um, you definitely wouldn't want to be in a position where your kids on these booking photos here on the city of El Paso website. So, Joe. Um, I know that that story was pretty. Uh, it's pretty rough. Pretty Shout out, you know, all uh, all uh, you know, I'll pour some out for the for the young man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's pour. Let, yeah, but let's he do wasn't that. even like old enough. To yeah, play. exactly. Yeah. Okay, Fucking so Joe, Joe, what about Joe that guy? <clears throat> the second story we had, I found on in, on uh, Fit Fam. The second and one, I think well, you might like this, Chuck. Let's do it. <laughs> I mean, this one talks oh, about a uh, vegan who drinks <laughs> urine daily, swears it's secret to eternal youth. That's what Chris has been doing for the past week. And look at him. He's like, it makes me feel like I'm, I'm still super young. And he's like 18. He's like, like, oh, he's like you are me, young, bitch. He's like, it makes me feel young as fuck. No. So look what? at this fucker right here. 
Dude, if that's his urine, he needs to drink some more water. Yeah, I was about to say that. He needs to rest some dirty shit, dude. That's right. That's not even piss. That's like tea, bro. That's that's already some Limpton tea or some shit. That's like that's like go get checked, my guy. That's like that. Like so that piss, Amber. Read why he was fucking doing this, Joe. At the bottom, it says just really fast. Is P the fountain of youth? A 34 year old vegan in England. It's always them, them British Florida's over <laughs> the there. Brits. Swears the byproduct of relieving himself relieves more than just his bladder. <laughs> what? Harry Matadin Ma, Ma, has claimed he drinks hard. his own urine daily, saying the stomach churning practice has cured him of his depression and made him <laughs> look 10 years younger. Spit it out, Junior. God, look at this motherfucker. Dude, he doesn't look like he's 34. Oh he looks like he's 45. Bro, that, that guy has done way too many drugs. If he yeah, dude, that, as well. he's, on a, he's on a trip right now. All right, so how much are we uh, all charging to drink our own piss? Like, how much are you? Well, I think, you know, I've, I've heard a lot of stories, though, too, like survival mode, where, like, there's nothing that's to different. drink. And then, like, that's Yeah, different. I agree. That's, that's different. That's the only reason why Bro, we're doing you, it. But you're you're, st- I, I'm you're, not, you're drinking, drinking to stay my piss. alive. Yeah, I'm not drinking my piss. I'm not drinking my piss. Okay, okay, Chuck. Okay, Chuck, but what? What if there was like a scientific research to where like they said like, dude, you, you you drink like at least like two ounces of your own piss every day, you're gonna look like you're 50 years old when you're 100. What do you do? No, there, there. You'd be like, no. Let's say Elon Musk. I mean, is come like, on, look at him. He's thinking about it. No, like, no, let's, hey, say, like, let's say Elon Musk is like, about it. Elon Musk is like, what are you doing? 44 billion, but you need to drink five dust boots full of your pee. 44 billion. B- Billion. Billion. With the B. B with the B. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, yeah, 44 okay. billion. I'd probably, I'd probably suck it up, throw up a few times, but dude. I don't not know. throwing up. Not throwing up. I, that's well, you would, ha- you would throw up, dude. Yeah. You can't help that. I eat my own you, shit you, for you, 44 you, billion. You could chill, your, you could chill your, your pee. It doesn't have to be hot. Just five thousand boots. Put it on the rocks. He's like, can I throw some? Can I? What's wrong with Joe, guys? Hey. Okay, so I don't think any of us should drink our piss, but if you guys are looking for a better way to cure your depression... And to feel better about your age and your general Try well-being, out. start sipping your own piss. Apparently, it's oh. good for you. Chris is like, <laughs> oh, but wait, hold on. What if it only works for people in England? Oh, that's a special. They, they, they only trait. eat biscuits, right? Biscuits <laughs> and chips. All right, Joe. Last story that the we the last have topic, fast. as you know, the richest motherfucker in the world. I think he's cool as fuck. Um, Elon. Elon Musk. You know, fucking. Growing some balls and being like, you know what? I got the money. What well, fucking yeah. that's pocket change. Let me do it. Good for him, dude. How do you what feel do you about think, that? What do you guys think of Elon Musk? I what's think your, he's dope, dude. Thought? Dude, I think that guy is just way too smart for his own good. Yeah. yeah. No, I swear. I mean, I think that guy is, he's a creator, dude. That guy has his brain running million miles an hour, and he's just like. You know that? He I does, saw, he does have, but he comes from nothing, dude. I think that's yeah. the coolest part. That's his story is from the South, South Africa, thing. dude. Dude, he comes from nothing, and that guy, look at who he is, dude. He's the most richest, powerful man on this world, on this earth, I think. Just yeah, my, my, Doge, my Dogecoin jumps up and down every time he tweets. <laughs> hey, so, now it's gonna be it's gonna be jumping Jesus. now. Yeah, yeah. All, it's all, like, hey, all it's your like one month you, he'll make me like ten grand, and then the next month he'll he'll hey, make me lose like fifteen. Hey, all your life you know? savings you you poured into Dogecoin is gonna go. It's gonna pay off one day, dude. I promise. Yeah, that's why that's why <laughs> I haven't touched it in like two years now. So yeah, this yeah. whole Twitter thing is crazy. I mean, I, I I just don't understand like what he plans to do. Well, yeah. he's already kind of set up his plan. Like he, he kind of wants to like improve it. He wants to like actually use Dogecoin as a payment that yeah. you can use through through Twitter. But um, I actually like what he's doing. And a lot of people thought that like because he said like um like Twitter is um it's kind of like a democracy. It's kind of like a free speech, yeah. right? And then so they thought like oh shit he's doing it so he could get President fucking um, Trump on there. Trump back up. But Trump actually just came out recently saying that it doesn't matter who buys it or whatever. He's not going to come back to it. Well, yeah, because he, he has his own social media. Yeah, platform. but I mean, if you were that rich. It's also fucking Donald Trump, dude. He if you were that rich, would you, ever, would you ever do like some big move like that? Like maybe buy like a social media? Like you're you're really into it or IG, you're more, you're more uh, I mean, active on it? I, I think so. I, I might could probably make a big move. I just, I don't, I don't know what I would do yet. I mean, just. It looks like he has a plan, though. Right. Like, I mean, I mean the whole he's NFL not, he's not, team. He, everybody's playing checkers. He's playing chess. Yeah, absolutely. I agree with Joe, dude. He's he's gonna make a big next move that no one's expecting. What I want to do is I want to buy the first mansion in Mars, dude. No, check this, dude. He been the first dude, bar in Mars. And one of his first controversial tweets where he's like, CT I'm gonna buy Coca Cola and I'm gonna put Coke back in it. 
This this guy's a fucking unstoppable. <laughs> Holy shit, Joe. He's unstoppable, dude. I don't know if he can actually do that. Though. He's unstoppable. Dude, what we need to stop dude. is you need to stop dude, drinking, suppo- Joe. Dude, Jesus supposedly, Christ. He, dude, supposedly he wasn't allowed to buy Twitter, dude. They supposedly took a poison pill where all the board members were like, you can't, they're going to fuck him over, right? And sure enough, he uh, he raises his bid. And who's going to say no to $44 billion? Oh, yeah, dude. He, he's got a plan. I mean, I think he's just one That's of those. That's just that, but he, he's paying this shit pretty much straight out already. Yeah, no, he's nice already stuff. done, dude. Yeah, he's just paying in cash, bro. He's paying cash. in cash. Who, who the fuck has that much cash? Dude, that's the most baller move ever. Is there, no, is there, there that much cash ever. there is yeah, on cash. this world? No, I don't know. That's wild, dude. That's balling as fuck. Yeah. All, All right. right, so those were our local and uh, national trending topics. Thank you for that, Joe. Yeah, thank you, Joe. Thank you, thank Joe. You, Joe. Thank, thank you, Joe. And those crazy questions, too. Joe, you fucking son of a bitch. Joe, Thank you. fuck yeah, dude. All right, guys. So we're at 48, seven minutes again here. Damn, another two half. hour pod. So what we're going to do now is we're going to transition to the back half. We're going to get ready to wrap this podcast up. Uh, does anybody know what fucking time it is? Do you have the time it took? Oh, what time is, what time it, time is it? Anybody got the time? 8.30? I probably, probably got to head out about 20. Oh, it's 8.30 already? Yeah. No, it's not. That's right. It's actually time <laughs> for the five random questions here at Conversing with Chris and Misa, the podcast hosted by your boy, Chris Marcus. We had to get you with the, with the joke there, Chuck. We had to get you. All right, so we got five <laughs> random questions here, and we're going to throw them at Chuck real, real quick. Let's um, do it. So, are you ready, Joe? Are you ready, Misa? Yeah, I've been ready. ready. Yeah. Chuck, are He's you got ready? 20 minutes. Okay, sorry, let's let's go. All right. Question number one. What's a Karen, and have you ever encountered one? Oh, oh, Karen oh, is a... Uh, uh, you can picture her right away, dude. You're, let's just say you go to the store, and you see this uh, lady with a bob cut. <laughs> typically, yeah. typically blonde. And, dude, you, you can just be minding your goddamn business, not just trying to get fucking some groceries. And, Let me talk to your manager. Yeah, and... Yeah, can I talk to your manager? Can you uh, <laughs> can you give me that in the back? Why not? You hey, know, like wait, just, wait, someone wait. causing a big ass fucking fart for no reason. Bro. Hey, an important question: Would you let your your future wife become a Karen? Hell no. Hell no. Would you step Hell in? No. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no Karen like, allowed, bro. That ain't gonna shit gonna happen. It's like just forget about it. We'll get this fucking chicken. Like, there, it's you like, <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. I love it. Okay, nice and quick. All right, question number two here. Mr. Chuck, after you over, I know you probably drank a different. Like different beers, different drinks, different alcohol. What's all? What's one alcoholic drink that you're never gonna touch again? Fucking Jaeger. Oh, oh hey, me no, too. Me too. Jaeger. 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 Jaeger is a big dude, one, dude, man, dude. Because Jaeger's fucking oil, bro. Yeah. It's fucking gross. It's, it's fucking tar. Diesel. It's tar. Hey, hey right now tar, we're, we're right now we're gonna take a Jaeger shot. Right? Fuck no, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's dude, inviting you, Joe. I don't know. Why keeps I'm the crazy. one that made the plans, bitch. I w- imagine <laughs> yeah, being you're like not invited. The, the fucking uh, like PR guy for Jaeger, and you just know everybody's sick and tired of drinking dude, yeah. that shit. He made his money early though. Yeah, everyone was drinking that shit. He made all their money off us. In high school. All right. <laughs> Question number three, Mister uh, Chuck, have you ever been stuck in an elevator? No. No. What's nah. the most like? What's the closest situation you've been into that? Dude. So in construction, there's these boom lifts, and they're the oh. ones that will fucking like get you to really top, like, like tough, 50 weird feet, areas. Yeah, 30, fifty feet, sixty feet. Yeah. There's sure enough, it fucking ran out of diesel, bro. So I'm sitting up there, and just like all of a sudden, you just hear boom, 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 like just like a car, like just fucking died right. of diesel. Well, when that shit turns off, it you, turns there, off. There's not like a like an emergency like electric button no, to no. get you down, bro. I'm fifty feet in the air. You and just, just start falling. You literally down. have to get diesel to fucking turn. Dude, so it's like, and that thing just stuck, and I'm probably like. 12 floors up like i mean i'm up there and i'm just like how the fuck am i gonna get down dude nobody inside i was actually closing up my job so i was trying to move it so i was gonna dude he causes he's got his, his yeah, what you like, do? Hey, babe, dude, what so, happened? dude i ended up slide so you just slide down the boom like the whole like the, the massive thing that sticks what? out dude i just like slowly just like you did that yeah, you're bro. fucking wild in dog that's the only way you can get down how you osha do would not fucking no, agree fuck with not. that <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Osha, don't be listening. I'm yeah. calling Osha right now. Yeah, yeah. Right. He you copy just D. Gotta, he copy D. He's nah, like, that's crazy. There's a cat in the uh, stuck in the tree, and it's a big old, it's a big old, you know, mechanical thing. Just go get me real quick. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I, I've gone through that actually. We we had the the cat lift or whatever there at the mall, but we had it inside. But the thing is, like, when it died on us, we were like, we we're inside the mall, so the mall's like two floors. Yeah. So we were kind of close enough to like get off on the second floor. But that shit was still fucking scary, bro. Dude, you're you're fucking chilling? slid on the side of dude, dude. I was like, I mean, I was, dude, I was. Gripped. He was grabbing death, for his death fucking. Gripping it, yeah, nah, dude, okay. fuck that. I'd, <laughs> okay. I'd spend the night up there. Yeah, fuck <laughs> that, dude, fuck that. Anyways, Chris, okay, what's the next question? One? Number four. Mr. 
Chuck, what was your very first cell phone like? Do you remember that? Oh, bro. Nokia Snake. Yeah. Hey. Hey. The, the, the fucking little brick that was yep. like, dude, indestructible. You can fucking. A battery lasts forever. Dude, that you could throw it against rock walls and nothing would happen. Nothing like, would dude. happen. Yeah, it was, dude, I, I washed it, it like twice and that shit still worked. Yeah, dude. But they'll so, play snake on it during fucking lunch <laughs> all the time. Hey, now, yeah. remember we had the razor. I mean, that was my first one. We, we had the razor. We, had, yeah, we, had a, we all had the I razor. I didn't like the razor, dude, because I, I I'd always get stopped for a weapon. I'm like, dude, what the hell is that sharp shit right there? And I, was like, <laughs> I had a it's sidekick, a fucking dog. Phone. You had the sidekick. And I was like, yeah, call a game. Call we your friend. I had a sidekick. I didn't have a sidekick. If you had a sidekick, it was you. I, I, I had a sidekick with my boy uh, Efren Ortega. Rest in peace. Shout out, Efren. Yeah, if you guys had sidekicks, that means you guys were hoes. For sure. Yeah. Aye, aye. No, no, no. That's like a fucking fact. Yeah, it is, I guess. Right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Question number five. Last one here. Mr. Chuck, this is it right here. This is the last question. It's, it's also a very important question. Uh-oh. So if your life depended on singing one song word for word without error, what song are you singing? <laughs> oh, shit. Word for word, you can't fuck up once. I'm not, I don't even know what song I would fucking pick. Tequila, maybe? Nah, 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 uh, no, nah, nah, it can't nah, be tequila. that one. Nah, tequila. That, that, Regulators. That, yeah. oh! oh! Regulators. What song is that? <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? No, no, I'm more disappointed in you, Chris. He used to be a rapper, too. Right? What song is that? Mount Up. Regulators. I got you. Nah, nah. Nah. The hood shit? Yeah. Blue knows about it. He's all pumped. He looks nah, like dude. he's about to rob a gas station. Bro, the, this uh, oh, this song shit. was my walk-up song my sophomore year college. No way. Yeah. That's yeah. badass. Put it up, put it up, put it up to the mic. Regulators. <laughs> Mount up. Bro, I've never heard this song before. Some more in jeans. Okay, yeah, Damn, that's that. Wow. Right there. Wow. I know that song. Yeah. yeah. He's I like, yeah, I, know know. He I didn't know, know that's what it was called. You're a but bitch, Chris. Hell yeah. There yeah. you go. That's awesome. Yeah, what about you, Chris? Jam. What about um, you? If you had one song. I would say Brooks and Dunn, Neon wow. Moon. Oh, okay. I would have never expected that song to come a, out of you. Yeah, man. yeah, dude. I'm a big a country, country fan. Yeah, I love, I love country. Yeah, I love Taylor love Swift. some country. Taylor Swift. Or even, I would say maybe even like a, a fucking Amarillo by Morning Sun, George Strait. Great song. Amarillo. Great song, yeah. Great song. Morning. Yeah, dude. You can fuck, you can't I mean, miss. there's a couple songs I could have gone with that answer, yeah, but the yeah. regulators just kind of hit something they did. Now I know well, what I mean, like, I mean, it was your walking fucking song. That's awesome. If you smoke, how I smoke. That's it, right? Yeah. Fuck you that again, Chris. Please stop. Okay, my bad. All right, so. Joe left because he uh, has diabetes yeah. and can't control his bladder. Yeah, that or he's fucking uh, doing coke in the restaurant. So, all right, guys. Well, let's get ready to wrap this up. Let's go yeah. around the studio, give our final thoughts. Uh, Joe, let's start with you today. Chuckles, thank you for uh, Chuckles. taking your time to, uh, out of your busy day, you know, was hanging out with your with your fiance, your company, you know, coming on a Friday night, you'd probably be with the boys or with her, you know, doing business shit. Thank you for coming back. It was It's nice seeing you. It was nice seeing you when I saw you. I always told you, I was like, you should come in the pod, man. Yeah, for sure. Thank you for having me, brother. Oh, yeah. I wish you nothing but success on, you know, on your company. You guys, Do you, like what, you guys man? are killing it, man. And, you know, I wish you the best with your, in your, your marriage. You guys, I want to see the little chuckles, you know, when yeah. they come out. <laughs> your puppies are cute. <laughs> Don't you know? name them Joe, though. Fuck that. <laughs> Don't right. name them Misa, either. Misa, final thoughts today. Yeah, uh, Chuck, brother, I got to say, um, I, I've known you for a long time. And even in high school, we weren't ever that close. But I gotta say, since you know, when I first met you, you were always you were always really cool. Like if we'd known each other for a long time, we were really, really close. So you, I gotta say, you were very cool, man, and I appreciate it. We haven't seen each other since high school, so yeah, I gotta man. say, man, it's been over ten years now. So uh, it's nice seeing you, bro. I appreciate you. I love your story. I love the fact that what you're doing with your dad. Anybody that does stuff with their family and brings their family first, I love that. Congratulations with your fiance, man. I wish you all the best. I wish hey, you man. the best in everything that you do. This shit was fun. Everybody listening, guys, make sure to follow this guy. Take take some notes off of this guy. And uh, you guys make sure to stay safe and stay fresh. Mr. Chuck, final thoughts today, brother. Guys, thank you. First off, first, first and foremost, man, thank you guys. But all of you, you guys are doing great things. I mean, even if it's a little stuff, it's growing. It's going to grow. You go in the right direction in life and anything, man. I mean, it's, you guys are great. Joe, we go back, brother. It's great to see <laughs> you, man. Uh, it's great to see all of you. Misa, dude, nice to meet you, man. No, seriously, you guys are you guys are the homies, dude. And you guys, every, every and if any of you guys need anything, I'm always here, man. So thank oh, yeah. you guys for I having me. I need a new house. That's what hey, I need. Hey, CP's like, hey, can I get some shit built out here? <laughs> a new house. He's like, like hey, hey, dude, we need a new studio. studio on a new house. <laughs> <laughs> it's a studio. Uh, but no, I appreciate it, man. Thank you guys for having me. And, uh, right. Everyone listening, man. Thanks, Chuck. Uh, yeah, give him a round of applause, Misa. Yes. 
Chuck, you're thank awesome, you, Mr. Man. Chuck. Thank you. We really do appreciate you being here. Like everybody said, thank you for spending time with us today on a Friday night of all nights. Of course. Um, it was really good to meet you, man. You're a stand-up guy. Uh, I knew, you know, the way these guys talked about you that, you know, once I did finally meet you that uh, you're going to be a fucking cool guy down to earth, really easy to talk to, very sensible, everything that you would want in a podcast guest. So thank you for that. Um, and thank you once again for supporting the podcast and, sure. and coming on. And this on. is one of our old, like, <laughs> one of our G's fucking fans out here. He's been following for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. From what we were yeah. talking about, like, uh, when you said you started hopping on the on the, on the the little wagon we got going here. So uh, thank you for that. We really do appreciate it. Everybody listening, thank you guys for supporting. Uh, make sure, guys, we have this merch. It's going to be coming out soon. Chewy. Uh, shout make, out to shout Chewy. Shout out our boy Chewy. Next Gen Sports. Next Gen Sports. Uh, guys, also make sure you're following us on Instagram, liking us on Facebook, subscribing to our YouTube channel. Like I said, we got to 420 subs. Make sure you hit that sub button. Uh, with all that being said, guys. Support these guys. Support these guys. 122. Conversing with Chris and Lisa the podcast. Yes, sir. We are. Bitch, I get you tapered like a new fresh haircut. Put it in ignition, now a nigga got his cue.